Welcome to QuickBook, where customers can buy, share, and earn. Meet Sam. Sam owns an e-commerce business and sells athletics shoes and running gear. Sam wants to increase her sales without increasing marketing spend. So she decides to list her products on QuickLick. On QuickLick, her loyal customers can get paid for sharing her products with their friends. Sam uploads her products to the marketplace just like she would on Amazon or Shopify. Meet Laura. Laura is in the market for a new pair of shoes and comes across Sam's brand on the QuickLick marketplace. Laura is able to purchase the shoes and check out like she would on any other e-commerce site. After purchasing, Laura receives a unique quick link that she can share with friends to begin earning quick cash. Her friend Jessica opens Laura's quick link on her phone and purchases a pair of shoes. Because Jessica, Jessica purchases purchases using Laura's, Laura's quick, quick link, Laura receives quick cash in her account. After purchasing, Jessica can now share her own quick link and begin earning quick cash as well. But quick link is more than just your typical referral or affiliate platform. QuickClick rewards customers for sales they directly and indirectly influence. So, for every sale Jessica's new QuickLink makes, Laura will earn additional quick cash as well, making the potential for earning exponential. Laura and Jessica can transfer their quick cash balance to their bank account at any time, or can even use quick cash to make additional purchases in the app. Meanwhile, Sam can just watch as the sales roll in. Best of all, she doesn't have to worry about costs, since she is only spending marketing dollars when actual purchases are made. Start buying, sharing, and earning today at quickclick.com. Welcome to QuickClick, where customers can buy, share, and earn. Meet Sam. Sam owns an e-commerce business that sells athletic shoes and running gear. Sam wants to increase her sales without increasing marketing spend, so she decides to list her products on QuickClick. On QuickClick, her loyal customers can get paid for sharing her products with their friends. Sam uploads her products to the marketplace, just like she would on Amazon or Shopify. Meet Laura. Laura is in the market for a new pair of shoes and comes across Sam's brand on the QuickClick marketplace. Laura is able to purchase the shoes and check out like she would on any other e-commerce site. After purchasing, Laura receives a unique quick link that she can share with friends to begin earning quick cash. Her friend Jessica opens Laura's quick link on her phone and purchases the pair of shoes. Because Jessica purchases using Laura's quick link, Laura receives quick cash in her account. After purchasing, Jessica can now share her own QuickLink and begin earning quick cash as well. But QuickClick is more than just your typical referral or affiliate platform. QuickClick rewards customers for sales they directly and indirectly influence. So, for every sale Jessica's new QuickLink makes, Laura will earn additional quick cash as well, making the potential for earning right now, exponential. Right now, Laura and Jessica can transfer their quick cash balance to their bank account at any time, or can even use quick cash to make additional purchases in the app. Meanwhile, Sam can just watch as the sales roll in. Best of all, she doesn't have to worry about costs, since she is only spending marketing dollars when actual purchases are made. Start by sharing and earning today at quickclick.com. Welcome to QuickClick, where customers can buy, share, and earn. Meet
solution for radio, radio, radio TV, TV show, show. Invite, invite you to an invigorating, an invigorating conversation, conversation with our team, with our team, of, hosts team of hosts Monday through Friday, Friday 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Central, 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 Central Time. Start your week with Monday Morning Mindfulness with, with Zelda Speaks. Tuesdays, Self-Self-Care with Jody Susan. Wednesdays, Repairing Broken Families with Naima Latif and co-host Kareem Hamid. Thursdays, Soulful Solutions with Dr. Debbie Green. And Fridays, Health and Wellbeing with Miata. Saturdays, tune in 12 noon to 2 p.m. Central Time. First Saturday, Success Strategies with John. Second Saturday, Wendy Williams Esquire on Relationships. Third Saturday, Move Around with Deborah. Fourth Saturday, Wisdom with Mama D. Join us Sundays at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time for Soul Purpose Healing with Fiat. Call in and tell in 515-605-9325. Press 1 to speak to the host be a part of the solution. Do you want to make big money, money online, online right, right now today? today? Do, Do affiliate, affiliate marketing. marketing. That's right. That's right. Affiliate, affiliate marketing. marketing. Marketing, not, not drop shipping, not, not coaching, coaching, not consulting, not... Consulting, not... Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm your host, Zelda Speaks. And welcome to Monday Morning Mindfulness. We're just here to make your day just a tad bit better with the Mindfulness Stress Relief Session. Coming up live at 7.30. I'm, excuse me, 7.15. And you can call in after 7.30, after the 7.30 break this morning. Happy Earth Day, birthday, born day. If you're celebrating your birthday, celebrating it with you because it is a blessing to be alive because somebody didn't wake up this morning. And also, uh, let us keep in mind those in need of prayer, the sick, the shut-in, the incarcerated, and the non-believers who have just given up, given up. Let's just keep them in prayer, not to give up. Our topic today is food deserts. Is there a food desert in your neighborhood? What can you do about it? Or can you do anything about it? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today. Because not everyone has the luxury of having a big grocery store in their neighborhood. A lot of family stores. We're going to talk about that. With entrepreneur Imani of Imani Pie. She'll be joining us after the 7.30 break. And if you're listening online, you can join the conversation at 515-605-9325. Press 1 to speak. And we're on Facebook.com, HLN TV Show. And on our YouTube channel, Higher Learning TV Show. And be sure and check out my blog, zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com. Uh, all of the information is there. Oh, and there will be, uh, if you missed the gas giveaway this Past Saturday, 7 a.m. in Gary, Indiana, and then 9 a.m. back on uh, 7201 North Clark Street, and it was so many people. And there's going to be another another one, August 6th, and we will be uh, sharing that information with you on my blog, ZeldaSpeaks.wordpress.com. 
And there's a press conference coming up Wednesday, and that information will be on my blog as well. Now, if you are inside this morning and you're headed out just like I am, then you probably know. No, I'm not. I'm about to head out right now, but when I do head out, uh, it will be some traffic, of course. So let me give you traffic and weather, which is brought to you by Karen Kelly of itex.com, I-T-E-X. If you are uh, an entrepreneur or business owner and in need of products or services, we've bought cars, we've bought equipment, we've, bought, we've traveled, anything you can think of, you can buy at a big box store, you can buy it at itex. And the only difference is you do not pay cash. <clears throat> You use barter dollars, which is recognized by the U.S. Treasury. So uh, if you give them the promo code ZELDA, Z-E-L-D-A, you'll get a chance to go in and get $100 and start shopping right away. So that's uh, itex.com. Did I mention you could, you could travel anywhere in the world? Mm-hmm, that really helps. Jamaica, Alaska, Hawaii, Mexico, Caribbean. Anyway, anyway, that's your traffic and weather. Uh, on Metro and CTA, there are no reported delays. But as we take a look at the expressways, it's another story. Right now on the Kennedy inbound, it is 28 minutes, 18 on the reverse. On the evenings, it's 23 in and 16 out. On the Eisenhower, it's a whole lot of slow. 43 minutes inbound. That, uh, inbound, it's slow to Harlem Avenue. And outbound, it's, it's 19 minutes on the stevenson inbound 37 outbound it is 16 that earlier crash at harlem has been cleared up on the dan ryan 21 minutes in 15 out on the bishop ford it is 13 <coughs> excuse me minutes inbound and nine minutes on the reverse and on dusable lake shore drive it is 11 minutes in and 10 minutes out and that is your traffic and weather sponsored by Karen Kelly of itex.com. And if you want more information, you can always go to the site, <coughs> Chicago slash, excuse me, Chicago slash itex.com. And there you go. If you are, um, watching us live on Facebook or YouTube, do know that the actual show, which airs Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 1 on Channel 19, is also available on our um, YouTube channel, higherlearningnetwork.org. And I'm sorry, on our YouTube channel, Higher Learning TV Show. And if you are one of the many Americans who like to eat, chances are you got a little blood sugar problems, might have to be diabetic and don't even know it. That's why you always see me drinking this, drinking it on it, but it works. Apple beet, cucumber, lemon, ginger kale. What can I say? And turmeric, it works. So go to the website, diabeticdonut.com. <clears throat> you can also go to the Facebook page, Diabetic Donut ABC. Don't ask me what ABC is. I say I always be chewing <laughs> so I can help myself remember <laughs> what the ABC is. Uh, Facebook.com, uh, ABC. Fa I said that wrong, y'all. I'm dead tired. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash diabetic donut ABC. And that you can join that. And you can also join our other Facebook channel, HLN TV Show. So please subscribe and please share that. It is now time for your Monday morning mindfulness inspiration. And that inspiration comes from Mike House. And if you would like to be on his guest list to receive the information, you can just Google him and it will show up. And why is it not showing up on mine? I'm sure I've, I've skipped over it because he always sent me something. There it is. Abundance is mine. Here we go. July 17th. Abundance is mine. You do know that abundance is yours, right? Well, we're going to show you how. <clears throat> Excuse me. Figures 
on an income statement do not determine wealth. You can be spiritually rich when you're materially poor. True wealth on the spiritual riches of the kingdom is an inner awareness that all your needs are met in lavish abundance. How about that? Lavish abundance. I love that. The mental state of the truly wealthy person keeps them in right relationship with the universe. Their heart and mind remain eternally receptive to absolute good. So-called negative experiences do not move them because they know that all is well no matter what appears. No one is born believing themselves to be poor. They must be taught that they are poor. They must be taught to look at their external conditions as indicators of their level of wealth. Consciously connecting feeling with thought then is the key to true wealth. The feeling of wealth produces wealth. Mm, the feeling of wealth produces wealth. The feeling of poverty produces poverty. Declare aloud, abundance is mine. And say it like you mean it. Say it until you feel it deeply within yourself. Abundance is mine. Yes, abundance is mine. All that the Father has is mine. And that's from John 16 and 15. And that's your Monday morning mindfulness inspiration from Mike House. And if you Google him, you can get on and be a part of the information as well. But right now, I want to share with you the Monday morning mindfulness meditation in which we will use the exercises that I have here for you today. It's not an exercise. It's just, this is on my blog, zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com. And the affirmations that we're going to do today is to empower yourself because in the meditation is the sacred space between the breath and the thought. So if you don't close your eyes during this meditation, I want you to see the words so that you can visualize it and then close your eyes and we will begin the process of Monday morning mindfulness meditation. So let us begin. Get comfortable in your chair or couch or bed or wherever you are and just close your eyes and pay attention to your breath. Listen to the breathing and breathe through your nose, a long, deep inhale. As we begin the process. Close your eyes and simply think See yourself in a good place, wherever that is in the world. Know that you are always at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. Listening to the sound of my voice, giving thanks for the power of listening and breathing and thinking. And with all that we give, give thanks. As we breathe in, inhale deeply through the nose. Hold it. And exhale. Once more. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. Close your eyes. You should not be looking at me, but the inside of your eyelid says we inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. And now as we inhale and exhale, I want us to use the affirmations that you see here on the screen. So we will inhale our affirmations. That is a positive affirmation and we will exhale 
negative self-talk. So let's do that three times. Inhale, say, think of something positive to say to yourself. Inhale, something positive. I always say, I am healthy because two of the most powerful words on the planet, and you can use them to your advantage is I am. So I'm going to say, I am healthy. So let's breathe in. I am healthy. Hold it. And as I exhale, I exhale negative self-talk. Let's do that again. Inhale deeply. Your positive affirmation. I am healthy. Hold it. And exhale negative self-talk. Once more. Inhale a positive affirmation. And mine is I am healthy. Hold it. And exhale negative self-talk, whatever that is. My this is to this, my this is to that. I don't have this, I don't have that. Just exhale, blow it out, okay? So you can practice that on your, on your own and practice it in the mirror. That really helps. So let's go on to the next affirmation for the day. And that is to inhale love and exhale fear. So let us begin, inhale. All the good love that surround us in the form of love, light, and energy. Hold it. And exhale. And as you inhale and exhale, you should feel your chest move and your shoulders. You should feel that in your upper body. If you're not feeling that, that means you're not breathing deep enough. So let's inhale love. Hold it. And exhale. One more, inhale, love, hold it, and exhale. And let's do one more, inhale, genius, the genius in me. I'm smarter than I'll ever know. That's because we haven't learned to trust ourselves. And I'm gonna tell you a little something about that in a minute. And exhale, doubt, inhale, genius, Perfect memory for me. And exhale that once more. Inhale deeply. Inhale the genius in me. Hold it. And exhale doubt. And if I may share with you a very short experience, and I made this one specifically for those who are like me who doubt themselves. We have been conditioned by external forces, TV, radio, cell phones, to doubt ourselves. And I have become very good at that, as Ayala Van Zant would say until today. I am learning to trust myself and that as it relates to my memory, because, you know, you get a little older and you can't remember names and places where you put things, especially when it comes to books your checking account books. And when it comes to remembering numbers, that was my challenge. If especially it was long numbers, six or seven numbers, I would always say, I'm going to forget them. In my mind, I'm I'm not going to remember that. It wasn't until I told myself, yes, I had a conversation with myself and I don't care if people call me crazy. Just be sure and call me when it's dinner time. I did not trust my memory. And I would remember one, two or three numbers write them down and then go back and get the rest. So I tested myself and I said, I have perfect memory and total recall ability. And I did those affirmations, not for a day, just for a few minutes. And when I went back to test myself, like when you put your uh, password in the computer, if it's numbers, and if you don't do it every day or on your checkbook account or wherever, of your online and you're checking your balance or something like that. If you don't remember those numbers, you write them down. Well, I have gotten to the point where I don't have to write them down. I trust my memory. And when I go to an account, the numbers are there. And it amazes me. And it only amazes me because I did not trust the inner spirit within me to guide me. But now I'm over that, and I'm sharing that with you, and I hope you will enjoy that, too. So let's do one last one. Inhale, genius. Yes, you are a genius, and anybody tells you different, tell them to come see me. And exhale, doubt. 
Inhale, genius. Hold it. And exhale, doubt. And let's do this last one together. Meditate to activate. Why do we do that? What do you mean meditate to activate? We have to meditate. Meditate is simply getting quiet and listening to the still, small voice within. Closing your eyes and, and doing some deep breathing or sitting uh, with a cup of tea or whatever calms you down and makes you comfortable. I sit in the in the chair in my recliner and just look out the window and just do deep breathing. That's what my meditation is. And I say positive affirmations. And you can say anything you want as long as you say it because words have power. They don't teach us this in school. They teach us to go to school, get a job, work for them, work until you're 65 and you die shortly afterwards. That's not what we're doing. We're paying attention to what the universe is telling us by listening. And we do that by what? Simply stop, breathe in, hold it, and exhale. So that's what we're doing this morning. So let's inhale to meditate. And exhale as we activate it. Oh, yes, that feels good. Once more, inhale as we meditate. Hold it. And exhale. Because when we exhale, we are activating. We are activating the whole process with the power of the breath. So let's inhale once more. Inhale deeply. As we meditate and activate the power within, we give thanks that we are powerful. We are powerful, more powerful than we will ever know until we learn and realize that we are a child of the divine and the divine makes no mistakes. Whatever happens, it happens for a reason. And we give thanks for it right here, right now. So take one long, last deep breath, inhale, exhale, and meditate to activate. I hope you're doing this breathing uh, uh, exercise with me this morning and not just watching because this is how you learn and this is how you progress. So let's take this one last experience. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. And now I want you to breathe. Inhale hard enough where you deep enough where you feel it all in your chest. Inhale deeply. Bringing all that energy of the breath up to the top of the head, down through the forehead, the face, and the shoulders as you exhale. Inhale once more. And as you exhale, feel the energy moving through the arms. Feel free to stretch and move from side to side. Give that body a twist. The body loves movement. That's why we have to continue to move when we get old. So older and wiser because the body needs movement. We do not need to sit. That's why you see us sitting here doing the higher learning hip roll because we need to be moving and sitting in a chair to uh, two, to two to 10 hours a day is not a good thing. Inhale deeply, <sighs> bringing that breath, the energy of the breath down through the chest and the sides and the back and the hip and we exhale, <sighs> inhale deeply. <sighs> bringing that energy from the breath down through the solar plexus and the hips and the thighs and the knees. And yes, rub those glorious knees because they take us any and everywhere we have to go on the planet as we inhale once more. And as we exhale, <clears throat> excuse me, sending more love, light and energy through the breath down through the legs and the arches and the ankle and the heel and the toes. Yes, feel free to win, wiggle those toes as we inhale deeply. Bringing that energy back up from the toes, excuse me, to the ankles and the arches and the heels and the legs. Inhale deeply. Bringing that energy back up through the knees and the thighs and the hips. I hope you're visualizing this energy that's moving through your body as we inhale deeply. Bringing that energy, <coughs> excuse me, back up through the hips 
the back and the sides and the arms as we flow and open them and stretch them over our heads and stretch and stretch and stretch and inhale deeply. Bringing that energy back up through the shoulders and the head and back up to the top of the head as we inhale once more. One more long, deep breath. Inhale deeply. Take these two fingers and your thumb and grab the back of the neck and squeeze the back of the neck. That's where the vagus nerve is, the electrical system that's running up and down the body. It needs stimulation just like the mind needs stimulation. So inhale, exhale, and love on that vagus nerve and simply give thanks for the power of the breath as we inhale once more hold it and exhale we give thanks as we take our long last deep inhale deeply hold it and look to the left as far as you possibly can, feeling a stretch in the right side of the neck. And exhale. Inhale once more. Hold it. And look to the right as far as you possibly can, feeling that stretch in the left side of the neck. Ooh, that feels good. And bringing the head back around. And last but not least, inhale deeply. Hold it and exhale now i want you to take just 30 seconds and speak to every organ in your body see this is what real meditation can mean for you you are summoning each and every organ in your body that is working on your behalf and you don't even know it well you know it because you're still living but if something was wrong you would really pay attention right okay let's inhale deeply giving thanks for the power of the brain, the mind, the heart, liver, lungs, the spleen, and the spine, and the systems in the body that are working on our behalf. As we eat, the diet, the uh, elimination system, the assimilation system, the digestive system, and I just said that all wrong, the assimilation system where we eat the food, the digestion simulation where we digest the food and the elimination, very important because, you know, some of y'all constipated. Well, I ain't want to gossip, so we're here for me. But if you email me, I'll share some information with you and get you some sea moss and some nopalina too. Anything else, you can just give me a, an email. Okay, you got that? Inhale deeply. And exhale. And ladies and gentlemen, you have just experienced what I refer to as triggers for the brain. You have just experienced the happiness gene. The genes in your body are saying, oh, we love this. Let's do it again. Well, you can do it again, but do it on your own. And if you like that, feel free to go to my YouTube channel, Zelda Speaks. Or Zelda Speaks number, I'm sorry, it's Zelda Speaks to You. Okay, the number two and the letter U. It is 7.30, it is time for our first commercial break, and we are going to come back with, I forgot to mention that, uh, yeah, we're going to come back with our guest, uh, Imani, entrepreneur of Imani Pies. And we're going to be talking about food deserts, but I just wanted to remind you that this experience, what you just saw here, Meditate to Activate, that's on my blog, and those are available for our homeless project. We're always looking for ways to continue to get butane um, gener generators and heaters and water for the homeless. We service the population on Displays Avenue between Taylor and Roosevelt Road. So if you ever want to go down to Tent City and donate anything, food, water, especially water, they cannot get enough water. We take water in five gallon jugs. So please have a heart or better yet, just go to the um, website, higherlearningnetwork.org and you can make a donation there. 
and we'll send you something special. As a matter of fact, these are a couple of the things that we have here. Uh, this is the road cam. Uh, when you make a donation of $50 or more. And this is another one that you put on your dashboard. Okay. And But you don't always have to make a donation. Any amount helps. But that's just for if you order the T-shirt. So I just wanted to share that with you. So uh, let us take our first break here this morning. And I would like to share with you uh, more information about uh, Dr. Willie Wilson, who will be coming to, well, he's here in Chicago. He just did the gas giveaway just this past Saturday. Uh, mayoral candidate, uh, Dr. Willie Wilson. So I want to share that with you. And do be reminded, there is another free gas giveaway coming up this, I'm sorry, uh, August 6th. It's Saturday, August 6th. And this promo is just telling you a little bit about what his intentions are as mayoral candidate for the city of Chicago. Tax are higher than ever. Every day, thousands of our residents leave Chicago to go to shop in Atlanta. Jobs, Jobs are being lost and businesses are relocated. Let's find a way to lower our taxes to encourage residents to continue living and shopping in our city. Let's rebuild. Let's restore Chicago. Vote for me, for mayor of the city of Chicago, and I will work hard to find solutions that matter. I'm Dr. Will Wilson, and I approve this message. Paid for by Will Wilson. Kids are the future and should not be left behind. One person should not decide what is the best for our 77 communities. Politicians must work together for our kids' best interests. They deserve a safe education with resources that meet every student need. Let's rebuild and restore Chicago. Vote for me for mayor of Chicago. I'm Dr. Willie Wilson, and I approve this message. Paid for by Willie Wilson for mayor. <laughs> Crime in Chicago continues to increase. Community and politicians must come together to make a change. No one person can solve these problems by themselves. But I believe together we can make progress. Let's provide job training, economic growth, and invest into our 77 community. Let's rebuild and restore Chicago. Vote for me for mayor of Chicago. I'm Dr. Willie Wilson, and I approve this message. Paid for by Willie Wilson for mayor.
Grand Rising. And thank you for joining me back here on The Female Solution. I'm your host, Zelda Speaks. Welcome to Monday Morning Mindfulness. We are joined this morning by an entrepreneur, and that would be Imani. Thank you, my sister, for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Monday Morning Mindfulness. Looking so beautiful this morning. Get a test to meet Imani. Oh, I found your pies, girl. I didn't know that was you. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I have all those pies, girl. And those pies, as, as the young people would say, are the bomb.com. Yes, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me on the show this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being available this morning. I was like, I mm, wonder what it's like to start a day with a pie. <laughs> oh, yeah. A cup of tea or whatever your hot drink. Yes, ma'am, because I'm having my tea right now. So a piece of my <laughs> but you know, I can't eat sugar in the morning. That is so that's so weird. I can't eat it in the morning, but I can eat it later in the day. I don't know why that is, but in I eat it in the morning, it makes me sick. Anyway, I digress. Girl, tell us what you do and how it came about because I love and pass. Well, we do so we started as a homeschool project. I had a daycare, a home daycare for about 15 years, and I also homeschooled my children. Oh, so with my oldest daughter, it was a homeschool project where we were studying the Navy bean, how it got its name, um, you know, its health benefits, why we eat, you know, why we have bean soup so much, you know, things really? like that we were discussing. Can you share about. that with us? Because uh, we don't know. So the Navy bean got its name from the United States Navy because it oh. was a staple food that the when the soldiers went out and were out for long periods of time, they knew that they could feed them the bean because it had everything it needed in terms of fiber, protein, vitamins, you know, minerals, you name it. So wow. potassium, um, you can find in that one bean. So, yeah, so we pretty much studied that. Being Muslim followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, of course, you know, we had bean soup a lot. We ate a lot of bean soup. But that was our first time making a bean pie. Okay. So we actually did three things. Anytime we did projects, if you know, food would, could be involved, we we would, you know, cook something as well. So of course, this was all about food. Okay. So we um did we made bean soup, bean salad, and a bean pie. And I always laugh because the salad was awful. But <laughs> the pie and the soup, but soup they were used to. So, of course, that was good. But the pie was like the hit because it was our first time making it. it. It was good. And my husband and some of the parents that came for pickup that tasted it said, oh, you all can sell this. So we were like, ah, I don't know. But then we actually did sell it for a fundraiser for the daycare. We raised more than we had set out to raise. Mm. So coming back. So then I figured we could we could use this product to show our youth that we could make and manufacture our own um, products. Okay. So we started making them there in the homeschool, but then we we went out to a share kitchen and we started putting them in like small restaurants first and then stores. Okay. So these youth, they pretty much helped uh, birth and raise Imani's original bean size. Many of them now are young adults uh, in college or out of college, um, few in high school still um, that came later, you know. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. that, that daughter, my daughter just graduated um, with her accounting degree this summer from um, University uh, Governor State. What's her name? Uh, Hadia Muhammad. Hadia Muhammad. Shout out to Hadia. Yeah, otherwise known as Boss Lady to everybody. Boss you lady. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody got to be the boss. Hadia said, might as well be me. Exactly. <laughs> so, and she's going so, to school yes, for the numbers too? Lot. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? I said she's going to school too for the numbers? Yes, ma'am. Oh, she's yeah. And then we have a lot of youth that are artists and just so much. Um, now we're inside the Quarry Event Center. We just started a read to kind of do a survey or, or test out a retail space and see okay. how that works for us. Okay. We're also still in um, like the health food stores. Okay. I know because I've, I've seen them. Yeah. So Here we pulled out of our larger stores. 
so that we could kind of revamp a lot of the um, my youth kind of like I said they were in school and doing their own things we got so much going on that we wanted to kind of reset and reevaluate um, they were really pushing the online so we shipped throughout the United States and that's going pretty well so they were right um, then we we're on like DoorDash Grubhub and um, the other one <laughs> DoorDash Grubhub and like yeah. Uber Eats Uber Eats yeah and so those things are working out you know pretty good and we kept our local stores because those were like some our first stores the health food stores mm -hmm. and um so we're just going on a journey just kind of seeing how it how you know what works and what does not work we mm -hmm. were in major stores like whole foods i know that's where i first picked it up from and i was like oh my yeah, food. 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 And all food. Mm -hmm. yeah. so we just found we, we got a chance to see like what that looks like we got a lot of publicity so that was we're thankful for that. Yeah. And, um, yeah. We so we also got a chance to see what a fresh product looks like in distribution. What do you mean? A what a fresh a product? Oh, looks like. It has a low shelf life, right? Oh, so that's they have to put all those preservatives and chemicals right, in. Right. Right. Uh -huh. So we did have some stores. It wasn't like it wasn't like the major stores, but some smaller stores that were asking us to put um, preservatives in it so it could sit out on the tables. So, you know, the pies that you go in the grocery store, they're sitting all they out been on there the a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So those that, that, that's, that's not what our uh, brand represents. So we yeah. don't do it that way. So as you see, we have drinks behind. Yes. We do hibiscus teas, lemonades. We um, have our sea moss gel out there. So we just had a different um angle that we wanted to go with our product so that's why we're exploring retail now oh okay and so, so mm -hmm. if i may ask how do you keep it fresh long enough for it not to be like those other pies what so, all goes in them uh so it's so the shelf life is still short um but we can sell them for, our our product can be frozen so what, whole, for example, what the stores did was we bring it in frozen. Um, they keep it in the freezer and they go from freezer to refrigerator. Some sell out of the freezer too. Most of the time our product is in both refrigerator and freezer. Oh. Um, it falls like bread. So what most customers began to realize, like one of our stores in Sunrise, instead of people buying on off the refrigerator, they just go over to the freezer okay no that's gonna taste fresh <laughs> okay yeah so we, we, we even just talked about eliminating the refrigerator all together and that makes sense mm -hmm. because uh, you know uh, unless you're like me and you get to the car get back to the car and you open up the pie because mm -hmm. you, you, you want something right then and there <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing is it thaws out pretty quickly so Oh, kind of thaws out like bread, so it's not. Oh, okay, bread. that's yeah. good to know. I'll know the next time I have a an attack where I have to. <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but the beautiful thing is that we bake daily, um, in the South Shore community on Seventy Fifth and Phillips, so you could actually come and get it fresh as well. Really? <laughs> now, if you're in Chicago, Seventy Fifth and Phillips. Yep. So our address is twenty four twenty three. East 75th Street. Is that by the quarry? We're inside the quarry. Okay. Let yeah. me put that up there. And the name of the store is uh Imani's Original. So. Imani's Original and uh, Original. And it's a so the S at the end. <laughs> uh-huh. Original. original. Why does it O R I G I O N A L G I N A L S O R I G I N A L S. Oh, I got an O in there, and it shouldn't yeah. be. It's been a long weekend, y'all. <laughs> Twenty-four, twenty-three, East Seventy-fifth Street. I want to put that up on the screen so people can see that Imani's Originals. That's where it is. Right. Nice. Yeah. 
you are quite welcome. We've got a comment here from my sister of the microphone, Vietta Robinson says, Grand Rising Queen. Uh, yes, I'm activating all day. <laughs> Girl, we meditate right up in here. Yes. And because uh, I would love to be activating with some pad right now, but I told you I can't eat. <laughs> Not this early. <laughs> I can't eat anyway. Give me around one o'clock, I'm good. Yes, One, two, right here. I can I can eat some then. But that's a fascinating story, Imani. Um, and the last time I was at um what's the name of the place? The quarry. Um, it was a radio event. They were celebrating her Kent Richard Steel Rich Begear or something oh, like wow. that. There's all kinds of events going on at uh, yeah. location. And I and I love the fact that that place is all is always available for for entrepreneurs. I needed yeah. to make that e a little. Right. Yeah. You talk about meditating. We were doing um, martial arts classes here on Wednesdays. We had to reset. We're going to start back. We're ordering new mats, but we do meditation as well. So, as a part of our training. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm 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 going here for Corey. <laughs> I'm delighted to hear that. Now, I have to ask you a question, Imani. Yes, Because of what you said earlier about uh, getting in, out of the big box stores, I was listening to, um, I host uh, a virtual meeting every month of the West Side Ministers Coalition. And one of the participants came on and said something about Let me, I, I don't want to misquote him. So let me word this carefully. He had an organization, well, they have an organization where they are investing in grocery stores in the neighborhood. And the, can I say this? Their motives are questionable. I'll put it like that. And I'm not going to give the website out because everybody on the line was like, eh. but he said something that was so that really stood out to me. What you said also, the fact that the, the big stores, if they don't meet their quota in sales for food, $400,000 a month is not enough. I was like, really? That's almost a half a million dollars. That's not, he's like, no. If they don't have, a, if they don't make enough money, they move out of the neighborhood. That's why I couldn't understand. I'm riding down uh, 63rd Street and I'm like, Whole Foods is closing? What? Are you yeah. serious? Mm -hmm. So in, in essence, we're not spending enough money for them to validate having that store in the neighborhood. Hmm. And that just blew me away. I was like, wow. So they only made four hundred thousand a month. They if they can't make a million a month, they don't want to be there. Did true. You, That's true. Did you have that experience? Did you know anything about that? Um, I didn't necessarily have that experience, but I do see it. So mm -hmm. you may notice, like when you know we were in Whole Foods. So when you, the my children's favorite Whole Foods is the one. It's the uh, main one on North Avenue. And it's because it stays, it was like before COVID, of course, I don't mm. know about now. It was like a party in there. I mean, everything that you, whatever you do, it was in there, good or bad or whatever. So they had where you could sit down and eat, you can go outside, there's a river, you can sit by the river. Mm -hmm. um, all types of restaurants, you can eat healthy. You can get a hamburger if that's what you eat, uh, or a veggie burger, or a mm -hmm. uh, vegetable bowl. Mm -hmm. or, it was just so many options in that store. Okay. Uh, if you drink, there's a bar. Oh, I mean, of course, my children weren't. They were young, but I'm just saying it was there. Right. Everything. So everybody's hanging out in this Whole Foods from yeah. young to old. I'm telling yes. you, yes. there, so you can see yes. the type. From yes, all kinds you could even go on a date in there. You could go, yeah, I've wherever. seen that too. <laughs> it was a couple sitting next to me, yeah. He was like, 
your food work or your or work, you know, whatever. A lot of people you with their laptops, yep. A lot of that. It's, it's almost like a community center. It was like that. So when you look at 63rd, they came in saying, well, these people are poor. So we're going to lower the price a little, which the prices were slightly lower on some things, but they didn't have as many options. Oh. But if you really look at it across the street from Whole Foods was Kennedy King. I mean, yeah, the Kennedy King. Right. King. That's why I didn't understand the it. Bank. college here. And people didn't mind traveling over because they heard the prices were cheaper. So there were people that traveled from other communities to uh -huh. come in. But if the variety is not there, you see? Okay. It was a much smaller store and they didn't have, they didn't. So when we took our pies out, um, and it was nothing, we loved being in Whole Foods, but it was just something that we needed to do at the time. Okay. People were telling us, why you do that? Now there's nothing in the bakery. Oh, wow. And they were kind of right. Like, it wasn't a lot. We had Kimmy Cakes still there. And, what you uh, call them? Kimmy Cakes. Kimmy Cakes. Yeah, with a K. Um, they're like um, cheesecakes. Is it vegan? No, it's not. We had vegan as well, though. Some small ones. I can't think of the name right now. But that was pretty much it like they oh. they can get cookies brownies but there were they didn't have like options of the nice cakes and cupcakes like the other whole foods okay yeah um so give us a little a little less of so yeah and then so when that happens of course the price goes down COVID hit the school was closed most of the businesses were closed so then the community was not really patronizing yeah. as much because right. they felt like it, that food wasn't for them. That's a couple food. people told me. Wow. So. <laughs> wow. You know. Mm. Well, we live and we learn, don't we? So now we have Go Green on 63rd and Racing. Oh. Go Green Community Fresh Market. Um, so we're part of that store. I, I'm a part of their steering committee as well. So we did like the research prior to opening up. And what we found is we got to put a lot of education in our communities when it comes to like fresh products and healthy, healthier options. And, and there are so many um, health issues in our community. And we are the ones who need to be eating whole, wholesome, foods and it just breaks my heart when i walk down the street and see a mother with her baby got a pop of the hand in one hand and some hot flaming hots in the other hand and it's like we don't know about nutrition how do we get the community imani to wake up and realize that we're feeding our children poison when they get our age they won't be able to walk because their joints because i'm experiencing that now their joints well, they'll have mobility issues. They'll have health issues, diabetes, pancreatitis, kidney issues, gallstones, just everything you can think of. They're going to have it. And it's, it's not an easy road because, because of the lack of convenience. Uh, but you know what? I know convenience is an a issue, especially if you are a senior. But we we get on the train and the bus and we go anywhere we want to go That's we true. really do we go anywhere we want to go so if you know I, I remember when i first got married we didn't have a car and my husband was going over uh to get take these two gallons i'm sorry two five gallon jugs to get alkaline water on the bus Wow. So, yeah, because we were serious about our water because we know the benefits of alkaline. That's like two, two large paint buckets for mm -hmm. people that don't know. Yes, <laughs> we do. Two five gallon boxes. That's, oh, here's one right here. And he was on the bus with these, okay? Wow. We were serious about our water because the water that comes out of our sink is brown. So we can't drink that water. So we had to get something. But that's, you know, that that is not only for taste, but that's for health as well. If you just joined the conversation this morning, it is 7.56. We're going to take a break in a few minutes. But I just got a note from our uh, executive 
uh, producer Naima Latif who says grand rising now where so where you at not name there it is she says i will sponsor a pie for the first for a first time caller and i'm making the announcement right now and she will get the pie and ship it out to you so if you are a first time caller at 515-605-9325 press one to speak and you will be donated a pie by the executive producer naima latif of the female solution and all you have to do is call in yes naima thank you so very much that was very generous of you will you order me one too no just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm not waiting on the mail. I will go get my pie. Well, first, that's what I thought I was reading. I thought she was, it was saying she'll sponsor the first pie, but then I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so for only for first time callers, and you must push one in order to speak. It is 7.58. We got another minute here to go, but I want you to think about that Navy bean story was just fascinating. So those who don't know the history of a Navy bean, then you need to go back and listen to the um, breakdown that she gave us for the Navy beans, because I just thought that was fantastic. But I also want to share with you some information here about the, as we go to and go into our break, the global virtual teen talent contest, because Imani, I know you have young people in your life and I know you know some young people. We have at the Higher Learning Network TV show, we have a global virtual teen talent contest that happens every last Saturday of the month. It's called the Global Virtual Teen Talent Contest. And we accept youth who are between the ages of 13 and 19, and we asked them to send in a one minute video audition, a YouTube link, send that to hlntvshow at gmail.com and they can win prizes, cash, scholarships, all that good stuff. So I know you have a neighborhood of, of young people that age, so please send them to HLN TV shows so that we can yes. get your youth involved. Because we got, we got a lot of them. It's like, we need to give away more. So I ask you to support the Teen Talent Contest. You see the information there that is scrolling at the bottom. It is time for, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate that. It is time for a reminder. I've been doing some uh, some editing on uh, for the High Learning Net Network TV show. And I have not seen this promo but i just wanted to tell you about it the high learning network tv show airs tuesdays at six wednesdays at one on channel 19 <clears throat> in chicago and 24 7 on the web higher learning tv show oh youtube higher learning tv show and one of my sisters of the microphone uh ladonna tittle your tittle in the middle i saw her sister uh, who does tittle cupcakes i saw her at the taste yesterday oh i forgot to tell you about taste of chicago that's why i, I sound like a man this morning because i've been talking for three days and i have not talked that much i am going after this show today i am no more talk for the rest of the day i'm locking it down a little tea will help you that's why you see me got my tea girl but anyway ladonna tittle um uh, most people don't know this but i taught her how to edit i am yeah i am not her only teacher but i was one of her teachers and this is what i want to share with you is a, a quick promo that we did it's only a few few seconds here that we did at the uh at can tv uh chicago access television and this is a promo that we did uh in the studio when i was at uh, gospel radio 1390 so i just want to share that with you and then we'll go straight to our uh, commercial break. So let me know, uh, you know, good, a good laugh early in the morning. Here we go. Hi, I'm LaDonna Tittle of Radio Station, the home of Chief Channel Radio. Ah! <laughs> and this is Show Over. But well, you know, no, not you. I'm going to be going by. <laughs> well, anyway, they were gone. Okay. <laughs> so, like, be sure to watch us because we've got interesting stuff. Hilarious. Radio. You won't want to miss all the behind scenes, all the things that really go on when you're on the air. Actually, in the air. In the air. Right. And actually, 
see, most of our stuff is uh, the radio station is like off the air. Off the air, so right? See what goes on behind the scenes. It is totally ad lib. There is no words. We have no song. script. No script. Okay, so, so you know anything can happen. Anything. Anybody might stop by. <laughs> Who knows? Who we knows? may be on Zelda's roof doing the radio show. <laughs> Isn't that a great place? Who's Zelda? I'm, you know that girl, Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> Do join us. Who knows her <laughs> for radio station right here on channel 19. Bye bye, y'all. And I just wanted to share that with you. You know, we all need a good laugh every now and then. So uh, yeah. I, hope, I hope you got a good laugh. <laughs> Cause it was a lot of fun doing that. That that lady is hilarious. But anytime you get a chance to work, you get a chance to work with some a, a legend in radio. Who that when I was going to school, she was on the radio then. At uh, I don't know, she worked at all of them, but I was at Columbia College, and she was on the radio. I think it might have been GCI, BMX. I don't know. B103. Yeah. Anyway, it was just, I was just enamored with her personality because she, she, and she's a real sister. She's not one of them fake bougie sisters. She's a real oh, okay, sister. Okay, good. <laughs> so I just, I, I found that I was like, I got to share that promo because we had so much fun. So now let's go to the promo, uh, commercial break and we'll be right back more with Imani's Pies. So you stay close. And thank you for watching. And Hi, I'm Dr. CJ of Valora Health, where we combine orthopedic manual therapy and neuroscience to treat the whole person. Our tip for the day is keep it moving. Doesn't matter how, just keep it moving doing something you enjoy. Walking, dancing, rolling on the floor with your dogs or kids, really anything. The body craves movement to keep the bones, joints, and the muscles happy. Even our mental health and internal organs and digestive system rely on our movement. Thanks for being a part of the Higher Learning Network on the Female Solution. Do you want to live in a world without war? Join a world peace movement. Help me call to world peace and restoration of life, transcend culture, religion, ideology, and other boundaries to achieve a peaceful harmony and a global society. HWPL is committed to bringing world peace and cessation of war can buy, share, and earn. Meet Sam. Sam owns an e-commerce business that sells athletic shoes and running gear. Sam wants to increase her sales without increasing marketing spend. So she decides to list her products on QuickLick. On QuickLick, her loyal customers can get paid for sharing her products with their friends. Sam uploads her products to the marketplace, just like she would on Amazon or Shopify. Meet Laura. Laura is in the market for a new pair of shoes and comes across Sam's brand on the QuickClick marketplace. Laura is able to purchase the shoes and check out like she would on any other e-commerce site. After purchasing, Laura receives a unique quick link that she can share with friends to begin earning quick cash. Her friend Jessica opens Laura's quick link on her phone and purchases the pair of shoes. Because Jessica purchases using Laura's quick link, Laura receives quick cash in her account. After purchasing, Jessica can now share her own QuickLink and begin earning quick cash as well. But QuickLink is more than just your typical referral or affiliate platform. QuickLink rewards customers for sales they directly and indirectly influence. So, for every sale Jessica's new QuickLink makes, Laura will earn additional quick cash as well, making the potential for earning exponential. Laura and Jessica can transfer their quick cash balance to their bank account at any time, or can even use quick cash to make additional purchases in the app. Meanwhile, Sam can just watch as the sales roll in. Best of all, she doesn't have to worry about costs, since she is only spending marketing dollars when actual purchases are made. 
Start buying, sharing, and earning today at quickclick.com. And quickclick is the new website. Well, it's not new. It was new to us that we discovered because we had an account. When I say we, I mean the Higher Learning Network TV show. We had a the nonprofit organization, higherlearningnetwork.org, had an account with Amazon. Amazon, they never gave us a dime. I shouldn't say that. They never gave us money for shopping. How about that? Where Click Quick Click does. We have limited products on there, but um, you can find that information on my blog on zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com. So if you're interested in making money for your organization, you simply, whatever you go on and buy, the only thing that we buy is the, that we bought so far. We're not just buying things to be buying them. We bought, we buy what we need, bought some hot cocoa for the homeless. And because I bought it for myself, but it was so much of it. I was like, there's no way I can drink all this. And it was cold when I bought it. So I said, let me go get, go to Dollar Tree, get some uh, cups and, you know, make it and go out there and give it to them. And they were very appreciative. So that, and it's vanilla bean cocoa. It's got some bean in the baby. So that's some good cocoa. Last but not least, the uh, noni juice, because noni helped me heal several times from broken, broken bones. And it's good for the immune system and all that good stuff. So if you're an organization that wants to raise money for your, uh, if you're with an organization, you want to raise money, that's a good way to do it. Or if you're just a personal person, you want to put some money in your pocket, then you can do it that way too. But the information will be on my blog, zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com. And uh, executive producer Naeem Latif says, I see so many loyal longtime listeners on the switchboard. I'll sponsor a pie for the first five people that push one. Wow. Push one right now, 515-605-9325. Press one to speak as we go to the phone lines. We are going to 111-1111, Grand Rising. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, I need to open the mic up, don't I? That might help. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it's been a long day. I forgot to tell you about the taste of Chicago. Hi, who's this? Where are you calling from? Good morning. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Who is this? Well, good morning. My name is Antonio MacArthur, and I'm calling from Birmingham, Alabama, where they're having a historic world game for the second time in the United States. Did you say Mr. MacArthur? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said Mr. MacArthur from where? It's Antonio, A-N-T-E-R-I-U-S, MacArthur from Birmingham, Alabama, where they're having a historic world game for the second time in the United States. Uh, it's being held in Alabama. Oh, in my city. Okay. Well, for the first time. Okay. Oh, oh, you're a first time caller. Naima Latif, if you're on the switchboard, you hear Mr. Anterius from Birmingham. Birmingham. I'm trying to spell it out. Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> And she will take your information and so she can get that pie to you. That's Mr. Antares from uh, Birmingham, uh, Alabama. Oh, Alabama. Oh, oh, no, 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 babe. We don't get that out over the air. <laughs> you don't do oh, that oh, on okay. there. No, no, no. Okay. This is, but this is. My pie, but I want to ask about that because I'm, I'm interested in the healthy food. And I want to ask the lady, uh, Miss Imani, how do we, I'm, I'm 29 years old and my grandmother. Last year, and she used to cook all the time to make sure we had vegetables and healthy food. But my mama, she almost 60 and the kids that grew up with me, they don't even, I don't even think my mama know how to cook. So, and most of my friends, the weekday mama, they might, we go, they either go to bed, they pick a restaurant, to go eat dinner, uh, where they don't eat breakfast and all that. So, it's either one of the fast food restaurants. And I'm trying to think, I want to ask Mr. Money. How do we get, how do I get my, my family and my mama and, and people my age to try to eat healthy? How do we get that message out that we need to eat healthy? Because like the lady said, it's poison that we're getting and all the options and the poisons and all this food is really debilitating our health and, and causing us reproductive issues, which they tried to do with the Tuskegee experiment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, 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 and all this poison food is not as good. It's messing our reproductive system up. And I want to know how, Mr. Money, how Mr. Money thinks we can get people in 
my generation. I'm 29, and my mama, who don't even know how to cook, how we can get people to eat healthy to start cooking their own food. Ooh, excellent question. Well, you know, uh, shows like this, Zelda, Zelda Speaks, she's always teaching, right? Uh, whether it's from proper breathing techniques to eating. So always looking at shows, always tell people, YouTube has everything. It's called sure does. YouTube University for yes, ma'am. So you could go on there and learn how to cook. But let me mm -hmm. say this. People say fast food. The quickest thing to cook, let's say if you got some cut up vegetables, say it's broccoli, onions, uh, bell peppers, maybe some cauliflower, even some chopped um, um, cabbage. It takes you a few seconds to steam that and cook it. Season it really well. Because that's the main thing that people like is seasoning. Yeah. If I a piece of chicken and I just cooked it raw, you would look at me like I was crazy. If I gave yeah. it, it's the same thing with a string bean. Nobody wants, I mean, string beans, if you really get them, pick them out the fresh, they can have a sweetness to them. Mm. But generally, nobody wants me to go to the grocery store, buy some string beans or a, a cauliflower. Chop it up, steam it, and give it to you. Now, I remember saying that to a family member who cooks really well, but the vegetable would always be bland. Yeah. Why? Do the vegetable the same way you do the meat, or you do right. the rice, or you do, so you make it more fun. Yes. Like in my daycare, my parents always wanted to know why their children ate vegetables at my house. But they wouldn't eat vegetables. Mm. So one of the young men left for a little while. He went to school and he came back into our home school program. And the day he came back, he said, I don't eat bean soup. I said, Since when? You've been eating it all your life. He said, I don't eat bean soup. I said, Okay, whatever. I told his mom, I was like, Whatever. He was eating bean soup. She said, He never eat bean soup at home. I said, Well, make it. Flavorful. Don't put a lot in it, but make it flavorful. You know, I love curries. I'll take some vegetables. Me too. On there, and you know, a little sea salt, a little cayenne, and for me, that's good. So it's about seasoning. Um, don't be cheap on what you're putting in your body. Mm. We're paying six dollars a gallon for gas here. Come on now. Let's not be cheap. Let's go ahead and pay the six dollars. For a bottle of grapeseed oil or thank you olive oil. It, it's now, okay. we, we know what olive oil is but explain to our audience what grapeseed oil is well, I, I, oil. I, well I, I probably i'm not an expert on it but i do know this it's a lighter oil and that you can it can it can withstand more of a higher temperature than the olive oil so the olive oil you could eat it just like that you could take a spoon of, of it a day put a little lemon in it or whatever for flavor, but the grapeseed oil for cooking is like my go-to because it can withstand the heat. Mmm, grapeseed so You know a little more about that than I do, but yeah, and it's lighter. You don't feel, you know, full like you're about to fall over. Mm. And just start to make, there's so many kitchen utensils. I'll tell the caller this, so many things that you can add to the kitchen to make it more fun. What I found is when our kitchen wasn't like more uh, cook friendly, no one wanted to cook. But when we started getting the cute little pots and the nice little, you know, spoons and the little uh, ladles, the things to pick up the food and cute little things, people are more apt to cook. It's quicker um, here at the kitchen, our uh, commercial kitchen. I cook the dinner here because it's so much faster. So um, the fire can go faster. The pots, you know, we can, you know, in a commercial setting, you can cook much faster. The convection oven. So look at like what we are putting in our kitchen. And now they have ovens now. Like I have a new wave oven that I ordered one day. <laughs> so one night sitting up watching. I don't even watch a lot of TV, but this particular night I'm watching infomercials. And I ordered the new wave oven. And my daughter loves it because it cooks pretty fast, and but it's not a microwave. Oh. Because, you know, I threw the microwave. It was as if we were throwing the dog away or something. I threw the microwave away years ago, 
Say uh, that again. Uh, don't, don't, I, I, don't, just don't run right over there. Somebody need to hear that again. Say that what? again. Mike. I made them walk the microwave out to the garbage, and they acted as if to this day they're still talking about she made us throw our microwave away. That was over 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that microwave is killing um the nutrition in yes. our foods. But you do have other ovens and these i don't know about these air fryers but everyone's telling me about those things that can cook your food a little bit faster and it's frying it's frying food and you know we love frying foods love and fried food. foods is what keeps the inflammation in your body don't believe me you'll feel it in your body that's true Wonder why you got headache all the spots on your face i know i had terrible acne as a child mm -hmm. The fried foods we love them and they're killing us and every time i pass by a chicken place that's all i see is us in line oh yeah we don't know so thank you so very much for calling mr interiors from uh birmingham alabama am blah, 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 from birmingham alabama did she answer your question sir i certainly hope so let's go to the next call seven excuse me three, one, two, eight, zero, oh, two. you're live on the female solution grand rising where are you calling from who is this? Who is this? Mo. Is your did you say your name was Mo? I can't hear you, baby. I can't. Okay. Well, congratulations to you and thank you. Um, in the meantime, of course, you know, I'm a blue eyes and bobbing. Years ago, I'm an older, 73, and um, we shut this one September. Is this yeah. Minister I'm Cynthia? Here. Hold on. Is this, min is this Minister Cynthia? You, is this Minister Cynthia? Yeah, it is. Okay, I can, you're just talking. I can't hear. Minister Cynthia Williams from Chicago. I don't know, but we couldn't hear you. We hear you now. I love you all, okay? So let me keep it short. I love you all, but I love 50,000. And all I eat is vegetables and fish. Can't go wrong with that girl. You can't go wrong. Thank you so much, well, Minister Cynthia. Oh. And the dentist is so beautiful. And, and um, you can tell me some more YouTube lovers how to prepare the other uh, things better. I love it too. Thank you, All right. Thank you so much, Thank Minister. You. Thank you, Minister Cynthia, a longtime uh, caller, and she has been a guest on the show. Powerful sister, phenomenal woman, has a wealth of information, and we so appreciate her. So thank you, Minister Cynthia, for calling in this morning. Let's get another call, 773-960. You are live on the Female Solution. Grand Rising, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, good morning, Alito. This is uh, Koofy James. Koofy James, where are you calling from? Yeah. Um, Cherokee Nation in Chicago called Chicago. All right, Very now. Chicago. In your name called Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Um, What's your comment so, for Miss uh, uh, Miss Imani this uh, morning? There's, there's a lot of people, and I have a question too. There's a lot of people who are. Uh, you know, I've, I've been doing it for 10 years, um, preaching and teaching, uh, helping you. And I'm a natural pastor as well. Um, a lot of times it's a spiritual issue. When we're not operating, you ever hear something about real hair? Baby, 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 look to the sky. Yes, baby, yes. The third eye. Yes. Yeah, I I post that song all the time. 
that is a powerful song. What he's saying is, you have to look up to nature, the sun, look up, look up to the sky to actually activate your mind. Yes. The third eye is your mind. That's what's going to get you to make healthy choices. Yes, sir. If I'm looking down, if I'm looking down, what am I seeing? McDonald's, White Castle, all these are Burger King. Yes, you sir. Know, I'm looking up and now I'm activating my mind. I'm 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 becoming soul, I'm becoming uh into nature. You see? Mm-hmm. My my uh, my secret is that I do a lot of smoothies. I juice my food. Right now I'm eating some watermelon. I juice my our body is eighty percent what, seventy five, eighty percent water. Right. Called the lymphatic, lymphatic system. Each organ transfers liquid to each other. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to the food, your body has to break it down into a what? A liquid form. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wait a minute, let me take it to the next step. If my body gotta break the stool down to a liquid form, why don't I put in that liquid? So ain't nothing going to work so hard. Teach. Amen. Yeah. Say that. All right. What's your question, Kufi, uh, for Imani? What's your question, baby? We got we got other callers. Well, you know, solving our problems is really with common sense. My question is, I, I drive an electric car. I ain't got no problem with the gas situation. And I'll tell you, get an electric car. I ain't getting that. Well, okay, pay your two and a half a week and gas. I drive an electric car. I just charge it up, charge it up. Okay, Kofi, what's, what's, what's your question, baby? What's your question? What's your question? What's your question? What's your question or your comment? We got to take the next call. We got a commercial break coming up here. What does she think about that solution? We see the gas problem, the interest in electric vehicles. Is that, isn't that the common solution for everybody to transfer to an electric car? What does that got to do with food? I'm confused. No, you were saying gas prices and all that. What I'm saying is, we have to say, I see. Not we. Okay, she gets it. Constant choices. If you want to. Okay, no, no, no. Let her answer that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Answer that. uh, Yes, sir. Well, what I was simply relating the fact that we're we're willing to pay $6 a gallon for gas don't be cheap on what we put into our, the fuel that yes. we put into our bodies, yes. whether it's vegetables or fruits. But I'm glad he brought that up. Um, watermelon is was my go-to. I was eating only watermelon for a few weeks. Mm. And it was, it was, man, I felt good. Uh, Miraculous. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. Yes. Light. Um, yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. I went on a yeah. fruit fast. That's, that's it's beautiful. A beautiful you thing. You can't get that feeling from anything else but right. fruit. Or fruit. Yeah. It's like you're on a natural high. So Kofi, right on target. Yes, That's sir. Right. Thank you so much calling for calling Kofi yeah. and for sharing that. Well, I know he wanted to push the electric cars. I think a yeah. lot of people's fear with that real quickly is that um, we don't have enough um, stations in our community. But yeah. I see that there are more coming about. But yeah, like I'm in South Shore. I've not seen a station in South Shore. Yeah. I could be corrected. Yeah, and I'm and I'm sure they exist. We just haven't seen them. I saw my yeah. first one yesterday at the Taste of Chicago. Uh, oh no! So at, so at, at the well, it was it was mm-hmm. enclosed. It wasn't private where the public could see it because I was helping my girlfriend, mm-hmm. uh, Lorraine Wilson, at the mm-hmm. at Soul Soul. You know, I'm brain dead. Mm-hmm. I can't think. Of well, I tell you this: they're at all the Whole Foods. <laughs> So ingredient, oh, ingredient catering. She had a booth number four at Taste of Chicago jerk chicken, okay. and, uh, well, crab balls and lamb. And I didn't get a break. I didn't get a washroom break. Mm-hmm. I just sat there because mm-hmm. I mean, as far as you could see the line, and it was two people. It is still. Oh, it, was, it was. It ran out. What can I say? It was three days. It ran out every day. Good. I could That's not. A good I could not believe that people stood in that hot, oh yeah, welting weather to get lamb chops. I'm glad they did, and to get 
the uh the chick the jerk chicken they were lollipops that's why they were fascinated with the lollipops oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and them crab balls and i'm sorry but i had them crab balls i i'm i'm, I'm not quite like you naima i'm not quite there yet on the meat i'm still working on it but yeah i'm not a, i'm not a vegetarian anymore either i just okay you know, try to eat less period you yeah, know yeah, and, and cool. i was on the fruit yeah i do that as much as i can i'm trying to well, and that's a good thing too you might when it's hot, we don't even need to eat food. But as Kufi said, we need to drink more because it was so hot yesterday and I was sitting in the sun all day and I love it because I've not always been a sun person, but I had an incident where I wasn't feeling good. Uh, I went to Florida and I was aching all over. Now I see why old folks go to Florida all the time because it just, it helps in the healing process. Yes, uh, so I was sitting in the sun all day. Yes, that's why I'm so black today and I love my new skin color but the sun is so healing you're going to the doctor for medicine when you know farrakhan city too what you need to do is go sit in some sun that sun didn't he say i sat in it all day and i felt so good i was like whoa whoa why am i feeling so good it's the sun baby connect with the universe and you can't go wrong right. that's right it oh, is like to answer that with the whole mm -hmm. the whole foods have the electric car fill ups. Oh, they do. Except for in Inglewood. Oh. Really? You didn't hear from me. Okay. But I'm just saying options everywhere. Also in Beverly, when you go to the mall out there, I, I saw them in the lots out there on 95th and Western. So there, there are more of them, but yeah, we just have to, people, I think that's people's, their fear is. What if I run out of the energy? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's get one more call before we go to our commercial break. Naima says go to a call that I don't see. Eight seven two. Is this right here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, did she hang up? There it is. Eight seven two nine zero one. You're live on the Female Solution Grand Rising. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good morning, good morning to all. God is good. This is Lois here in the South Shore area. Hi, Lois. Thanks for calling. Hi. You know what? God is so good. I hope everybody learned that the richest place in the world is the cemetery. And also, uh, you know, I, I feel what most, what goes up, I was told as a little girl, what goes up must come down. Uh, uh, it says uh, uh, what goes in must come out, you know. And uh, I can call Mary at, at 16 years old. The separation of the food. Food sanitation is not like it used to be. 
children don't even wear hair nets anymore. They sure yeah. don't. <laughs> they don't care. When they nope. get sick from some food, it's because it's been contaminated. It's, it's some bacteria in that food that causes you to be sick. Most people will vomit it up. I will vomit it up. I go out and eat something. It's not right. It's coming up right away. Oh. Thanks a lot for this time. And you know, I just believe in God. I, I don't believe in, in uh, and I, I've taken food preparation courses in college, and I, I, I'm a food service uh, a manager. I'm a certified food service manager, and I know that Capitaca uh, and all these other bacteria, and that's what's killing us, and what the doctors are putting into our body. That's what's killing us. You are, you are right on target. Thank you so much, Lois, for calling and sharing that information. We greatly appreciate it because she's right on target. And we'll be sending you, uh, along with others, some pies, too, because Naima just sent me a list. Thank you so much, Lois. Uh, that was Lois from Chicago. We really appreciate you. And yeah, we really appreciate you sh sharing that information because, you know, we run to the doctor. We don't get quiet and, and, and listen to what the supreme being, whatever you choose to call it, uh, and listen to what, because it will tell you what you need to do, but you have to sit quiet long enough. You got to get quiet as Brother Lionel abdul Hop of Community Cultivations, our monthly uh, Monday, every first Monday, speaks on the show. We too, sit, we too busy playing games. We too, too busy having fun. And what we need to be doing is concentrating on the truth of who we are and what we bring to this planet. And before we go to commercial break, I just want to share with you our YouTube channel. Somebody said they want to see the YouTube channel from the free free gas uh, giveaway this past uh, Saturday with Dr. Willie Wilson. So if you go to YouTube.com and, and, and uh, type in Higher Learning TV Shows, you will see just that. And there's the one from Dr. Willie Wilson, uh, the gas giveaway. I'm just going to blow it up so you can see it, but I'm not going to let you hear the audio because we need to go to our commercial break. So that was the uh, giveaway in Gary, Indiana, and there's another one coming uh, August 6th, and we will keep you posted on that, but we're going to take our, our next break, and we'll be back for our last half hour, so stay close. Hi, I'm Naima Latif, executive producer of the Female Solution Global Radio TV Show. We are a part of the online network of Associated Internet Radio hosts on air. On Air empowers you with transformative news and interactive radio TV shows. This is such a wonderful time to be alive and to see our human family coming together as one community as a result of that powerful tool, the Internet. We can now talk directly to each other all over the world. There's no need for conflict or misunderstanding. There's no need for violence to solve our differences. We can talk to each other face to face until we reach an agreement. On Air offers a fantastic global guide to communicators from all over the world who are using their internet platform to inspire us to strive to be our best selves in order to become the kind, compassionate, loving people we were all born to be. Once we do that, we'll see planet Earth transformed into a place of peace. Subscribe to the recommended YouTube channel, Facebook pages, and podcasts created by these Voices of Enlightenment. On Air provides daily news briefs and a weekly magazine to keep you abreast of events and opportunities. On Air news affiliates in television, radio, and print share information, insights, and interviews with notable personalities. Go to onaireverywhere.com for a daily dose of uplifting news. We're on air everywhere, online, all the time. And that is from our executive producer, Naima Latif. We are on air everywhere, on air all the time. Mm -hmm. About finances, family, health, job, relationships. Are you in pain? Do you feel stuck? If you answer yes to any of these questions, help is available. Don't worry, you're not alone. It's part of the human process. You only feel this way because you haven't mastered the voices in your head. No hype, just down to earth, 
talent worked to prove and cut with the two factors of It's really food for the soul. Whether you want to learn how not to worry about anything with those types of diabetes, public support, promote your product or service, or just make extra money. To take advantage of the deal of the day, go to velvetspeaks.com or call 212 409 6619. Reach in promo code the female solution and get free shipping. That's velvetspeaks.com or 312 409 6619. Stop worrying today. Visit www.zelvaspeaks.com. Hi, I'm Dr. CJ of Valora Health, where we combine orthopedic manual therapy and neuroscience to treat the whole person. Health tip for the day is keep it moving. Doesn't matter how, just keep it moving doing something you enjoy. Walking, dancing, rolling on the floor with your dogs or kids, really anything. The body craves movement to keep the bones, joints, and the muscles happy. Even our mental health and internal organs and digestive system rely on our movements. Thanks for being a part of the Higher Learning Network and the Female Solution. Grand Rising, and thank you for joining us back here on The Female Solution. I'm your host, Zelda Speaks. Welcome to Monday Morning Mindfulness. If you missed the Monday Morning Meditation, you can always go back and see it. It's at uh where is it i'm uh i'm still asleep y'all i'm woke but my brain is, i promise you is still asleep um go to onaireverywhere.com while you are on the show and uh, we are joined by imani muhammad uh, uh imani's original pies and speaking of pies we have four bean pies to give away and Tyrius MacArthur from alabama Minister Cynthia Williams, Kofi James, he will pick his up at the quarry, and Minister Robert Floyd Plump will pick his up at the quarry as well. And um, this is a gift of appreciation for our longtime listeners. So thank you so much for calling. It's not too late to get those calls in. We've got uh, another 20 minutes on the show, 515-605-9325. Press one to speak. Did I take this 779? Did I take the 801? Uh, yeah, I did. No, I didn't. 779-801. You're live on the air. Hi. Hi, Maika. So glad to hear you all. Glad to hear you too, my sister. And greetings to your guests. I'm so to hear the story of how the bean pie got its origin. And I want to just affirm that I love your bean pie. <laughs> I have literally set up a cake one for a meal. Me too. Me too. I have to. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. But I have. I'm right there with you, Maika. I'm right there with you. Very good. I knew it was very nutritious also. And you know, I was just thinking as she was talking about the need for manufacturers in the African American community. You know, that's that's what's lacking. There's so little manufacturing going on. Yes. And I just want to applaud you, Imani, for your endeavor to manufacture a product that is good for us and Good for you too in terms mm -hmm. of developing your economics. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you, Micah. That you put in for that. Yes, that's powerful. Thank you yeah. so much. Can I miss, uh, what was that? I, I missed some parts. Are you giving pies? To all no, 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 no. I, uh, Naima is is giving pies to our uh, long time uh, faithful callers. That's what that is. Yeah. Oh, good, good. And I, I get one too. And, and wonderful. I'm going to invite you all to come and join me on Wednesday. And I'm going to deal with the next step in female empowerment beyond Bill versus Wade. Oh. Beyond the man's world and into the hand that rocks the cradle, rules the world. All right, now. So, just, so join me as we can discuss. A lot of violent solution to the problems that women are having in the world today. All so right. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Time comes the same place. 
the female solution. All righty. Thank you. Thank you so much for All calling. Right. Thank you, Mike. Be sure and join us yeah. Wednesday on the female solution with my Ika and Naima Latif, who just popped in for a minute. Uh, actually, we'll be doing starting the after show in about uh, 17 minutes. Naima, I'm bringing her on. Uh, so because I have to thank her for arranging the uh, interview with uh, Imani. So you two already know each other. So I'm bringing Naima on shortly, but right now uh, she had to step away for a second. I want to be sure I got all the calls this morning. Uh, 515-605-9325, press 1. And if you're online, type in what city you're watching us from. I see we have some Facebook. Thank you for the for the love. We see the hearts. We appreciate that. But type in what city uh, you are or what state you're, or what country you're listening to us and, and watching us from as I bring in executive producer Naima Latif of the Female Solution. Grand and we just got to close something out there. While we inhale wealth and exhale debt. All right, Naima. Thank you for joining us this morning, my sister. Did you have a question for Imani? And since uh, 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 Naima is giving away pies this morning, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Uh, Maika said, do I get a pie? I'm like, do I get a pie? Do I get a pie? Do I get a pie? You get a pie. 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 Yeah. I'll tell you what. If, if you come see me, Zelda, you get a pie. Maika right. come see me. Maika gets a pie. All right, <laughs> man. You're allowed me. Maika, you got to stay on and give me your, your, your shipping address in case you were not able to come to the city because she's out in the country. Uh, if, if they don't oh. deliver mail, though, you might. I mean, if, if you can, you, uh, well, I mean, if you're not going to well, be. Well, we do ship. We ship throughout the ship. United States. So, it's not so right. you know, don't let, don't, don't let the UPS guy get lost on the way out there. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you open tomorrow, Imani? So we're open from, what's today? Um, Monday. So we're actually closed on Monday and Tuesday, but okay. we are here working in the kitchen usually in the mornings. Okay. Um, but we're open Wednesday through Sunday from 11 to 5 p.m. Okay. Can I stop by tomorrow on, and, and get a pie after 12 o'clock? Yeah, just give me a call. I will do just okay. that because, honey, I can't wait till Wednesday. Today, Monday. The only reason, okay. why, I, the only reason why I ain't come bugging you today is because I have no voice and no energy. So uh, <laughs> you looked up. Need a nap. Yeah. <laughs> so take it away, Naima. Oh, we've got a comment here. Hold on. And that would be Cynthia Nagos from Chicago. Hey, Miss Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. As Naima shares with us some very important information because she's always got important information from onaireverywhere.com. Yes. Take it, Miss Naima. Oh, yes. Well, first we want to say thank you to Imani for joining us today. This has definitely been a blessing. And uh, I was recently blessed by our, our longtime friends from HWPL. So I wanted to share the blessing with our guest today and uh, also give some people and who have been longtime uh, listeners and, and supporters for us with a healthy pie. So a healthy pie. I like that. <laughs> and you know, like like you and, and Maika, I have also sat at one sitting at eight o'clock. Matter of fact, I was with some friends and they sit there and watch me eat the whole pie. You know, I kept offering them a slice. I said, Would you like a slice? You know, so I wasn't rude, but hey, they kept saying most. I'm like, okay, well, another one for me. They said, the whole pie. <laughs> and they said, Can you say, uh, you know, you're trying to watch your weight? <laughs> But this is bean pie. See, it's bean. Right. 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 That was my excuse. It's everything in moderation, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all. Thank you, Naima, for inviting me on to the show. And thanks so much for choosing to give give the prize. Yes. That's yes. a blessing. Um, right. so I I will I will either 
you know, send you that electronically, or I'm just coming to the place and, and, and yeah, come see me. Get my pie while I'm at it. Like know. I said, I got a new slogan. It's like it's going to be called "Come See About Me." Oh, Ooh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I'm here. Come see about me. <laughs> well, you know, I I really wanted also our listeners and viewers to be inspired because we have a lot of people who have culinary skills and they say, well, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how, I'm, but you, but God gave you a gift. You know, you got a skill, just share it. But sometimes people are afraid of business because they think it's too complicated. They think they're not smart enough, you yep. know, and it's okay. If there's nobody in your family, that's never been an entrepreneur. It's okay. If, if you don't know anything about filing taxes or incorporation or, or, or shipping and distribution, it's okay. You can learn those things. Right. But if you have something that people want, that's your gift. That's how you are going to survive because they will pay you for what you have. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay for a pie, baby. People will pay for a pie. Pay for a pie. Coming, in, coming in, give a pie. Right. <laughs> the first day of the entrepreneur class that I took in the past, on the first day the teacher wrote on the board, fell fast, fell often. Say it again now. Fail fast. fast fail. Oh, no, he said fail. Yeah, fail fast. Fail often. Fail fast. It was one oh. or the other. Oh, fast, fail. Mm, okay. That's how you learn. It was like, huh? Exactly. This, that's most people's fear is failure. You're gonna fail. You're not gonna get something right. It's expected. Right. Um, <clears throat> generally, when you're starting, it may just be you and your family, and it's a lot to learn. And there'll be mistakes. You just reset, reinvent yourself, do whatever you have to do. Right. Um, but don't be afraid of that because that's that is how we learn. Right. That's how we learn to walk, right? Right. Right. That's how we learn to ride a bike. Right. That's right. And you gotta get up and, and then when you fall off, you gotta get back up and keep yeah. pedaling. That's the only way you learn. Yeah, it's great to be up and everything, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got all kind of scars yeah. to prove my my learning how to ride a bike but yeah. the thing is and you meant and you, you're right about people are afraid to fail because they're always afraid they're going to be ridiculed and laughed at and we you know we got that memory of what it feels like to be laughed at from something that happened in our childhood and people laugh oh it's yeah like, you still doing that small business thing you still got that little small thing going on oh look and ridicule a lot of that yeah so the thing about being a successful entrepreneur, you got to surround yourself with other successful entrepreneurs so that they can remind you, you know, fail fast, fail often. You got there, they to remind you, look, you know, you got you, you have to go through a lot of trials and errors before you finally make it because each each error is showing you how not to do something. Yeah. You know, yeah. okay, that's the way you don't do it. Oh, okay, yeah. I learned something else. Okay, you don't do it that way. But once you learn all the ways to not do it, and then you finally discover the way to do it, then you know it. Then you can teach it because you know it. You le learned it through experience. Right. You hang around people, always broke, always complaining, but too scared to do anything. They'll right. they'll, they'll shift their fear onto you. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Oh, mm -hmm. you, yeah, you exactly. gonna. You still struggling with that little business, you know? Saying derogatory. No, nobody want beans. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you had a bean pie. <laughs> that's a whole different story. A whole different story. So that's why you have to be around people who have had the courage to try and fail and ultimately succeed so they can remind you of the end game, the, the, the vision of where you're going, no matter how difficult the struggle gets. And sometimes, you know, sometimes your family will be in there helping you and they're the ones that that's providing the, the, the leg work and all that and, and you know they're willing to to work without pay until you can get the salary to pay and sometimes your family's the one that put you down and, and and ridicule you and make you feel bad and, and 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 discourage you so you know you can't get angry at your family they're only acting according to their level of faith and whatever their experience has been with failure and you know like that's like the person who tried to ride the bike and fell off and never got back on and so you know 25 years old and they still can't ride a bike because they never got right. it right exactly yeah so yeah. you know it, it but we need more entrepreneurs we need more people with courage to take an idea to fruition because that's what's missing in our community it's not other people who's supposed to fix 
this economic problem. It's us having the courage to take our ideas and develop them and present them to the public so people can pay us. That's how you build an economy. And when you have a, a struggling economy, that means you have a lot of people who are lacking courage and are unwilling to fail so they can succeed. Mm. That's true. Unwilling to fail. That's powerful because yeah. we we don't we don't we won't know success in that form until we have experienced something that wasn't successful. So you got to fail. What you said, fail fast and fail often. Cynthia Nagel says, what is the name and location of the restaurant? You got me wanting pie too. Girl, we all want some pie. Yes, yeah, Put the address on the screen so people can know. All those who are watching can just run on over there. and There it is out. right there. There you go. Oh, 2423 East 75th Street. They're closed That's Monday and Tuesday, but you can go by Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. Mm. And and you you mail them them to do you mail oh, them too? We do. We ship throughout the United States. So mm. Our website is imanisoriginals.com. Oh, where so is the flyer at? Just go there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I, 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 I emailed it. Yeah, I'll email. find it and put it up. Oh, okay. Put okay. It up. So, so yes. yes. And some people do call on Monday and Tuesday. They know we're back here in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you they want you to open them get them a pie. I need some pie. Well, you are the, the food store is closed, but we know that the back end is working. We smell it coming out of the exhaust. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. It might be closed, but we know y'all in there cooking them pies. They either ring the bell or call me. Yeah, okay. For those who know the Quarry building, you know that that back door is right by the kitchen. So yeah. <laughs> right by the kitchen. Right. Yes. Well, you know, I, I think that really. This should inspire a lot of people mm -hmm. to think about some ways, that, especially those who might have that favorite recipe, you know, figure out how you can develop that, turn that into a product, even if you just start by selling it out of your house, you know, or shipping it. Because like you said, there's a whole new market that opened up with online shipping. And there's so yep. many things that people could do, whether it's cooking. Yeah. I mean, we have so many um natural geniuses uh yeah. within our own You're cells. born creators um, yeah. is, born uh, creator. where we're failed in school where our children are being failed is they're not being uh taught entrepreneurship right um because being to be taught entrepreneur skills is to be taught life skills yeah. so whether you own a business or not not you're going to always be selling Yes. So when someone told you, you're going to always be selling, you're going to always network, you're going to have to know how to budget your money if mm -hmm. you want to live comfortably. Right. Right. So that's all entrepreneurial training is, right? And these are the things, this is where we fail our children by not mm -hmm. teaching these skills. So now mm -hmm. they have these uh, geniuses, I call it, within whether they paint. We have um, just seven um youth that are working with us young people working with us for this summer each one of them they have so many talents i'm like i don't know how we're going to bring it all out but we're going to make it happen we have uh, um, one young man who paints he's an artist he draws and paints he's also a great photographer mm. we have another my son is a great painter he does murals throughout the city wow. he's also a, a chef so we always want wow. him cooking but <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, um, yeah my young like my daughter does the numbers for us she also can crochet mm. um, she can do so many they do so many things it's, yes, it's crazy things. from they can some of them can dance um mm. uh, my i have a niece that can draw and sew wow and she's wow. like a volleyball star right now oh, wow um, <laughs> so it's just so many things. Uh, we got basketball stars. We have a basket. <laughs> so it just if we just highlight, if we could bring out and continue to, to expound on that positive side of our youth, more and more will want to, you know, shine their lights in the right way. Absolutely. And so that's that's what I do. And that's that's my thing. Just, you know, always trying to talk positive to them, give them work ethics, show them some work ethics. Because yeah. What you'll do here is what you'll do there. So right. that's what you do. So right. you cutting it short or, you, you know, not giving it your all, whatever it is. If it has your name on it, you should give it your all. So those right. are the things that we're doing here. If you come, well, 
our youth, they'll be here throughout the week. They'll be, mm-hmm. uh, I think two or three of them will be here today. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. That's so, yeah. We have a new young lady that I didn't know I just met um, that the Food Lab Chicago sent to me. And she wants to um, um, study culinary. Well, she's studying culinary arts. She's at the um, one of the high schools. I don't want to tell where she's at. Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah. Culinary arts. Yeah. So we just it's just I get excited when I see see them just trying. And yeah. Trying but they're working hard and they're you know they're finding their way. So yeah, that's mm-hmm. encouraging. And, and my t- daughter does hair. My daughter braids wow. hair. Um, yeah. She braids hair at my friend's shop in the West Loop. Um, nice. Yeah, on Madison and Morgan, Main Abstracts. Yep. So mm-hmm. she got a certification when she was about 18. And she's also a student at Governor State. So, yep. Yeah. That, yeah. And that's really what we should be focusing on for our youth mm-hmm. entrepreneurship. Not, you know, and, and I, I mean, I'm not discouraging you from going to college. But right now, these banks are hustling our children with these long-term loans, these astronomical figures. They get into debt. They're telling me at least 15000 a semester. Yes. And then your whole life, you spend paying back a student loan, and you may never even get a job in the area that you study. Yeah. But if you develop your skills and decide to create a business with those, those skills, you can be working as soon as you graduate high school and developing that business. And if you need to take some business courses, that's fine. That's fine. But you really don't need a four-year degree to No, you don't succeed in life. And, and right now, they've been selling our people on a bill of goods to keep them in debt. And then they're frustrated because after they've spent all that money and owe all that money, they can't get hired and they're angry. So we need to empower our youth to create their own jobs, create their own businesses, and enjoy life without debt. You know, I taught my children that school is free. If you want to go to school, then you should be, that's your job. You should be getting the grades to go for free. For free or close to free. So, <laughs> if you really, if it was meant for you, right? That's right. That's right. You know, education is free because anytime you go somewhere to learn, even if you're learning how to work a, a job, because that's the kind of business you want to get in, that's what I used to do. I'd go h- get hired someplace that was teaching me some kind of business management skills so that I could learn, so that I could use it for my own business. So that's like getting paid to go to school. And to be honest with you, jobs aren't hiring the way they did in the past. Now they're looking for more innovative people because things are changing so fast. So they want to know what can you bring to the table for my company? What do you bring? You know, do you know any programming? Can you are you a social media guru? What are you? What is it that you can? What else can you bring to my company so that we can? You know, stay afloat and stay competitive. That's right. Well, we know we're our our our, in, our uh, radio audience is about to leave us. We'll still be live on Facebook and YouTube for the Actor Show. So those on the switchboard. We want to say goodbye to our listeners, even though we're not hanging out. But we want you to hear the greetings. So just hold on. Nigeria. I say. Africa. Bonga. Senegal. Get it. Kenya. Asante. Asante. Israel. Toda. Toda. Pakistan. Shukriya. Shukriya. Afghanistan. Tashakur. Tashakur. Saudi Arabia. Shukran. Shukran. Assalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. May peace be upon you. Thank you so much. If you're on the switchboard and you want to comment, push one right now because the uh, switchboard closes at nine. But I just thank you for joining us for the after show. As you can see here, the after show is finally over with. I know, Imani, you have to leave, but I had to show your... Uh, the the picture of the pie. So for those who are watching online, it's located at the uh, a quarry 
It's Imani's Original Bean Pies and Specialty Shop, and it's located inside the quarry, 2423 East 75th Street. That's right off of 75th and what? Phillips. And Phillips, 75th yeah. and Phillips, and you can call there. They ship throughout the U.S., 773-716-7007. Imani, would you like to leave us with the word before you go? I just want to say thank you for having me on the show. Um, it's been a blast. I'm glad I was able to get out a lot more than most people ask the same questions. I like that you all really allowed me to um, talk about some of the other things that we do. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, my sister. It has been a plump as Les Brown would say, it's been a plump, pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege. Thank you. I'll see you in the morning to get my bean pie. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling you right after we get off the air here. All righty. All righty, Monty. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. You. All right. And I'll be in contact about the, the kids getting into the teen talent contest, too. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Children, not the kids. Thank you right. so much. <laughs> Peace, my sister. Peace. All righty, Naima, take it away. Yes. You know, we, we do that uh, ending greeting. Uh, I remember, I, I might have told you all this again, but it's okay. I'll, I'll say it again. Um, Malcolm X's oldest daughter, Atala Shabazz, she came to Betty Shabazz Charter School, which was named after her mother, uh, and at which my daughter attended. My daughter, Zakia, went to that school her entire. Um, time in grammar school and Atala Shabazz came there and gave an address to the students and she said something that stuck with me because she of course being who she is has traveled all over the world and she said one thing you should always know how to say is thank you always express gratitude because when you go abroad people are helping you and they're being kind to you and you need to show that you appreciate whatever it is they provide for you. You need to show manners. So if you don't know how to say anything else in another language, know how to say thank you. And she said, I can say thank you in 33 different languages. And I thought, oh, wow, that's impressive. So that, that stuck with me. So as we develop this show and realizing that, you know, we're on the World Wide Web and people do tap in and listen to shows all over the globe because, you know, they might type in a subject and then, you know, your show will pop up if you are talking about that particular thing. So at any given point, anywhere all over the world, you know, and blog talk keeps a, a record of all the different countries that listen to us. And, and I realized, you know, people from different places are listening to our shows. And I thought about what she said. And I said, if, 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 if people hear thank you in different languages and they hear it every day, then they will learn it. They'll learn how to say those. So, you know, all 16 languages that I'm studying and uh, want to be able to converse in as I travel abroad, I put together the thank you ending so that if you listen to this show every day and you hear that ending, you will just automatically, it will be in your subconscious brain and you will remember how to say thank you. If you ever run into somebody who speaks another language from another country. And you'll at least, if you can say one thing to them, you can say thank you. And it really makes a difference when you show that you appreciate people. So, you know, I'm, I'm developing a, a multilingual course that helps people communicate in, in ways that will keep us from feeling like strangers because we're not. And if you listen to the female solution, you'll, in the beginning, you'll know how to greet people, you know, basic polite greeting. And at the end, you'll know how to say thank you. So that brings you one step closer to being a world citizen. The powerful thing about the internet is that it really has made us one world community. And so even if you go into business, no matter where you are, you don't have to stay a local business. If you have a product that can be shipped abroad, just that's like a bean pie. You can have a global business. So there's no reason for us to have this small mind 
We should never again refer to ourselves as a minority. Don't let people put that thought in your head. There's nothing minor about you. You are a part of all there is, the existence, the universe. That's what you are a part of. Don't let people put you in a small little box, a little segment and make you feel like you're minor and you don't matter. You're as major as any living being on the planet and beyond. So if you're going to go into business, your thinking has to be greater than the idea of you being small. You have to think unlimited. If you allow somebody to make you feel like you're deprived, you're underprivileged, you're defective, you're minor, then you will be afraid to start that business idea. Imani's bean pies is global. And everybody who loves bean pie would be willing to pay for it. And it doesn't matter what the color or, or, or gender of the baker is, they like those pies. So everybody in the world literally is her customer. So if we want to change the conditions in the communities where we live, we have to change the thought. When you walk down the street and you see trash and broken windows and boarded up houses and broken glass, you're seeing a manifestation of the thoughts of people. You're seeing how they feel about themselves because that's what your that's what your living environment says. This is what I think of myself. I think I'm trashy. I'm not worthy of beauty. I don't love myself. That's what that environment says. You can't get angry at the alderman. You can't get angry at the mayor. You can't get angry at the governor. Because there's nothing stopping people who live in a community from deciding that they don't want to send that message to their children that their children are trash. There's nothing stopping us from cleaning up. That ain't my job. That's a city's job. But you live there. Your job is to give the message to your children that they are worthy of the highest beauty and the best, most comfortable, safest living environment. They are worthy of that. It's our job to give that message to them. If we let those who think nothing of themselves throw garbage on the ground, break their beer bottles and throw them on the ground, leave places trashy, not take care of properties that they own. If we allow them to set that standard for us, then shame on us because there's nothing that's keeping us from cleaning up places around where we live but us. Nothing. It's just like if you live in the house you live in. If you come in a house and it's dirty and messy, who's stopping you from cleaning it? Nobody. You live there. Why would you want to, if you allow it to be trashy, well, that's what you're saying. That's what you're telling yourself every day. I'm not worthy of cleanliness and beauty. I'm not worthy of beauty. That's what you're telling yourself subconsciously. When you tell yourself that, it manifests in every other area of your life. But when you tell yourself, I am worthy of the best, I am worthy of love, I am worthy of comfort, I'm worthy of beauty, then when you create something, it's going to be reflecting what you feel about yourself on the inside. I feel worthy. And so when I create this product, because I value myself, I know that what I share with others is also valuable to them. And I expect them to pay me because I know it's value. Some people, the difficulty they have as an entrepreneur is asking people to pay for a product or service because inside they don't feel worthy. And when you don't feel worthy, you can't be a good salesperson because when a, when a salesperson talks to somebody, it's because they have confidence that what they're selling is worthy and they as a person are worthy in presenting it. But if you have inner feelings of self-doubt, it's going to be hard for you to ask somebody to buy your product. 
everything starts with how you feel about yourself. So our first step is to stop blaming people because we're reflecting that we don't feel good about ourselves and we want somebody else to fix that. Nobody can fix what's broken inside of you. You have to do the repair. If I don't feel good enough about myself to take my idea and develop it and create a means of my survival, no one else can make that happen. I have to do the work inside. And sometimes that means changing the environment, which means changing the people that you're around. Or if you're around people who don't care about themselves and don't value themselves, then that's going to rub off on you. And it's going to reflect in the things they say to you when you get ready to start an idea. And they'll be the ones to tell you, oh, that don't sound like that can work. Oh, you still trying to do that, that little business you're doing? Because they don't have confidence in themselves. But a person who's successful, a person who has tried something and succeeded at it, or even if they're still trying, they're going to encourage you because they feel good about themselves. And so they can encourage you in your idea. You have to surround yourself with people who are of a higher consciousness. The ones who complain all the time, the ones who blame somebody else all the time, the ones who keep expecting somebody else to fix a problem that they created all the time, they can't propel you forward. You have to propel yourself and surround yourself with people who are also moving forward. This is our challenge as a community. Yes, we have things that the elected officials could do and should do as representative of a governing body. But most things that need to be corrected cannot be corrected by an elected official. It's each person projecting what's on the inside of them. An elected official cannot stop you from hating yourself. That's work that you have to do yourself. So if our children have learned to hate themselves or not feel good about themselves because they didn't receive encouragement for their ideas, they didn't see anyone recognizing the genius, the creativity, the talent, the skills that they have, they didn't hear any encouragement for them to create and they didn't feel any appreciation, we can't blame the mayor for that. We can't blame the governor for that. We can't blame the president for that. We did this to our children. And if what they're showing us is what it feels like to be discouraged and dismissed, then what we need to do is show them what it feels like to be encouraged and listened to and applauded and supported so that they will change their behavior because now they have confidence that they can create and what they create will be appreciated. Everything that we're seeing is a manifestation of thought. So if we wanna change what we see, we have to change what we think. And we can drive around whatever city we live in and you see sections of the city that are clean and neat and well kept. And we want to blame somebody because the places where we live are destitute looking and, and trashy. And we want to point the finger at someone and say, they did this to us. But truly, nobody is keeping us from creating beauty in our surroundings. No one. No one comes at night and dumps trash on the ground from City Hall or the governor's building. No one does that. So why are we blaming those people? It's the people who live there that choose to create that because of how they feel about themselves. So, Rather than point the finger, 
let us take responsibility. If we want to see a business district lined with viable businesses from people who live in the community, who live and work among each other and interact with each other and respect each other, it starts with our thought. Our thought. Because once you think of it, then you begin to put in motion the actions that create it. If we want to see neighborhoods where children feel safe, where they can play, where there are comfortable areas, beautiful areas with trees and flowers, we can think of it first and then we can follow through with the actions that create. That's our responsibility. And you know, when we think about all the different things that grow and all the foods that we can develop as a result of what's growing from the ground. Like our guest Imani said, you know, some people say, well, who would eat a bean? Well, now they got this delicious bean pie that everybody will eat. Mother Earth is giving us the greatest gift that we could have, which is the air we breathe. And the air we breathe is produced by plants that grow. And many plants grow without us doing anything at all. They're giving us life. They're sharing their oxygen with us, allowing us to breathe. And anybody who's had COVID or know anybody who, who passed away from COVID, you know how important air is, being able to get air into your lungs and breathe. So we have plants gifts from mother earth to us so that we can breathe and many of them we have not studied to know what it is they provide what do they do how do they taste what things can they solve in our bodies these are gifts and many of us because we don't know these gifts we don't know what they offer we haven't studied them we haven't sought to find out we just talk about them badly and kill them. When we call something a weed, to me, that's like a, a, a person of another persuasion calling me the N-word. You've said something derogatory about me that says I have no value. Well, I don't, I don't call plants weeds anymore because I know that a weed is merely something that was grown without any effort on your part. And no matter what it does, one thing it does do is give you air. It's giving you life and you want to give it death because you don't understand it and you don't understand its purpose. How ungrateful is that? We need to be saying to our plants, thank you. Whatever you are, even if I don't know what you do to the soil or, or who you feed among the creatures and the ground, I know that you have value. And you're giving me life by sharing your oxygen with me. So we even need to think differently about how we handle the ground. And those plants that are growing all over the earth, many that we are not familiar with, we need to study them and not just kill them. Because many of them can be used for food. Some will be able to be used for fuel. Some will be able to be used for medicine. Gifts from Mother Nature that we didn't pay for, we didn't do anything to earn, and they're giving us life by giving us air. We have to change our thinking. So as we repair the grounds that we've trashed with our papers and bottles and broken glass, as we clean up the vacant lots in our communities and provide beauty and comfort, let's also Consider what we've been given as gifts and learn about the various plants that are continuing to give us fresh air, even though we trash them with our garbage. 
Let's show some gratitude for what we have. Let's show some appreciation for what we've been given. Everywhere that plants grow, and some even grow between concrete, plants that are steadily giving us air even though we trash their environment with our garbage. Things that we have not developed the wisdom to seek how to recycle. So we have to change our thinking. If we're trashing our environment, it's because we're feeling like trash. We need to see the value in all that grows from the ground. We need to see the value in all things that we've used and rather than toss them aside, figure out how we can recycle them and value the substances we've used to create these items and not turn them into trash, we need to change our thoughts <clears throat> so that there is no garbage and everything has value and our environment will reflect that thinking and then our children will reflect that thinking. I got to go back to what you said about vegetables, food growing up through concrete. I'm taking my my mm -hmm. daily and I'm always asking spirit to show me something I need to see. And I at that moment, I look down and what do I see on the ground? A bushel of mushrooms growing up on wow. in between the concrete. I was like, and I took a picture of it. I don't know where it is. Wow. Now, but I have never seen mushrooms. They're all little ones, but it was a glob. It's growing up through the concrete. concrete. You can't stop nature. That's right. That's right. Because Concrete nature. don't stop nature. What does that That's tell right. you That's about true. the creative force in you? Nothing can stop yeah. you. You've just been listening to the wrong people. Yeah. To the phone, the TV, the radio. Turn it off. I know they got us brainwashed, every last one of them. I, I, I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, um, uh, Baba Kwame Sunny, Sun Horse is on the line. Yeah, let me let me pull him up. I'm so happy that every to every, you know how they give you a is the word countdown? Um, they send you a screenshot. Your hours are down, or your hours have increased on the phone. My hours are decreasing, and I'm so happy to see that because that reminds me that I'm being mindfulness. So I'm sharing this with you so you can be mindfulness. The more that you tune out stuff out there, the better off you will be. I'm not saying get rid of it. I'm just saying lessen your time on it. Spend more time inside. See, because the powers that be that manufacture all of these electronic appliances that we have, they know the secret. They know we are creators. Yes. They know we are geniuses. Yes. They know. We yeah. don't know. We and don't know. As Zant would say, until today. Until today. Absolutely. So let's see what Baba Kwame says. Baba Kwame, son, horse from Georgia. Let's go to the phone lines and open up his line. Grand Rising, Baba. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. How are you? Grand Rising. Uh well, like I'm Salam and Baba Kwame, congratulations. You have won a bean pie. <laughs> <laughs> you get a pie, Baba Kwame. You get a pie. You get a pie. You get a pie. You get a pie. <laughs> yes, we are we are rewarding our listeners today with a bean pie. Uh, as uh Imani up by our guest Imani Muhammad and she is the creator of the fabulous Imani's bean pies and so you know and I was blessed with our from our dear friends uh from the HWPL Heavenly Culture World Peace Restoration of Light organization and I said well I need to share the blessing and also, in addition to blessing our guests, bless our listeners and viewers. So we want to make sure that we show appreciation for people who have been with us and have been encouraging us by listening and joining in our conversations and sharing their wisdom. So Baba Kwame, after the, the show, I'm going to make sure I get your uh, mailing address. They ship all over the world and you will get a delicious bean pie. I, I give thanks because uh, the 
very important, even her name. Imani. His faith. Yes. His faith. And yes. His yes. Being able to honor herself by everyone that addresses her speaks faith. Mm. And so that's the energy in which she's been given by carrying that name. And names are very important. But what even what you're talking about, elected officials, but what we have to look at is conception officials. Mm. Who are the conceivers of our children? We are. Mm. Ooh. Somebody else. See, we have to first start with the conception of his the parent. Mm -hmm. We once upon a time did not look at the child and say, What's your name? We asked, Who are your parents? Ah. You are a reflection, and we've gotten away from that. Mm. And the other part is, is that when we look at urban areas, it tells you, the word tells you right there what it is. You are banned from Mother Earth. Mm. You're mm. banned from, by pouring concrete and asphalt over her, her mm. life force, which is the soil. Well, yes. You become disconnected from mm. her energy. And so... We have to look at how this was all constructed because the thing that we're talking about education, education comes from the Latin word inducere means to bring out. If we are the parents or the conception officials, what is coming out of them is what we put in them and how we even conceive them. Because we're we're creating people in an environment that is not a natural environment, and so we're hitting this 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 part of of looking at how destructive communities that are are specifically divided, red lines, and you know living on the other side of the tracks, and and living in in. The, by the expressway or living by ways that are not conducive. Because if you're living by an expressway, you're living by a, a, a pollution. Because every wow. the air. Wow. So you're, you're, it's by design for the mind not to reproduce and to dumb down the people that live in those type of environments. You look at out there by all girl gardens. When they started putting the garbage out there, that was that was uh, racism. Why did you put the garbage out there in Oak Park? Right. You put it out there in Argyle Garden because you knew the people that were there, and you didn't care about the people being harmed, yeah. by the decaying of of all the garbage that was coming out of the city. So we got to look at how we once upon a time did more with less. And, and we did it in nature. We, we had a balance and an order because the first community, if we want to know a community, go and study nature. Mm. Every tree knows its purpose. Every plant knows what tree is supposed to grow with. Every <coughs> animal knows where to go and make its home. We have become out of order. And these are the tools because the thing is, the apple tree does not charge you for, for its apples that it produces. All right, now. You, know, you, can, you, can, you can go in a pecan orchard and you can pick pecan. We have gone, and these grow orchards. And so that means just like you putting a business down the street, you can have the same thing that's in nature that gives you what you need. Mm. And the other thing is that we have to look at Lake Michigan used to be a lake that you almost could go out there and drink out of. Mm. And fish. Yeah. And, and fish. fish. And eat out of that lake. But the thing today has been so polluted. Yes. The whole thing that Chicago formed for was Dusabo turned around there and made a trading post because it was a waterway. This mm. is where we, we understand how we set up communities and places of living is by the waterway. All major cities are by a waterway. Right. Right. 
all major cities. New York was called, they call it the Big Apple, but New York originally was called the oyster capital of the world. Really? It had more oysters than, yes, look it up. New York, we used to have more oyster beds and, and clean water from the oyster beds until they started polluting and dumping garbage in it and killed off all the oysters. What? Mm. Mm, so, I didn't know that. So what we what we're looking at is that we that's why I say we did more with less. Mm. And as we began to curb the people, because urban only means you put over a thousand people in an area in a square mile radius. And rural means you put that same thousand people in a in a country mile is longer than a city mile. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. right. In the country mile, yeah. I'm pulling that out the hard way. <laughs> like, oh, it's just a mile up the road. You can go yeah. walking and walking and walking. And walking. And you're still walking. <laughs> <laughs> Three miles later. <laughs> you take, and so you take a, a, a city mile where it's four blocks, four blocks long, four blocks north, four blocks east, but and that's the square mile. And so you stack those people on top of each other. We saw that along mm -hmm. the expressways when they built Robert Taylor State Way Gardens. Yes. And all of that is because they stacked it from the university experiment in the University of Chicago and says is that they put monkeys on top of each other and they said, Okay, let's see what they do. They reproduce and they killed each other. They yep. reproduce and they killed each other. Okay. And what did we do? We reproduce and we kill each other. Yep. Right on target. That's pretty horrifying when you think uh, of people just scientifically discover, you know, uh, observing you and knowing that they can create a, a, a self-destructive environment. I mean, it, it's it's scary that people can be so casual, but then when people don't see you as a person like themselves because of the way they've been conditioned to think. Right. Then they don't have any regard for your life. But this is why we have to not develop that same tendency okay. toward other life forms because everything has value. Right. So we know what it feels like to be like a thing that doesn't have value. So we should not do that to other life that's around us, as you said. And we have people that value living in work. So we swept the dirt. We didn't yes. have lawn. We would sweep the dirt to organize the dirt and make it look presentable. Yeah. Part that we're doing now is, is, is what Francis as well as said. If you just come out of your house and sweep your side, yep. Yep. we'll begin to plant a seed in the other people. Yep. Buy yes. and pick up a piece of trash. You yeah. know, you can get the children to see how to, to clean the neighborhood by organizing cleanup crews on the weekend and yeah. reward them. Yes. Yes. This this is what each neighborhood can do. And every neighborhood is basically showing what the residents collectively feel about themselves. If you if, if you walk if you go down the street, walk down the street, drive down the street, whatever, and you see it's clean and neat that lets you know people feel good about themselves you go down the street and you see it's trash all over the place and in front of people's homes and they just let it stay there yep that lets you know what they feel but about the, part, but the word that you use is neighborhood we don't even know our neighbors in, in, in the mm -hmm. urban area sure you don't. live in an area where once upon a time you knew who lived next door to you yeah behind you across the street yep. from you you interacted because you understood the power of community. Yep. You communicated with the people that live in your area. Nowadays, you don't have that 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 luxury. Mm -mm. And and what are you doing looking at me? Who are you? What are right. You? And these are the things that we have lost. Values, morals, respect, and ethics. Those four key things. Values. Do you value yourself enough to show that the space that you live in, do you have 
uh, moral to be morally correct in how you present yourself and your children to the community? Do you respect your neighbor? And do you have ethics that you live by? Those things are, are, are just about as extinct in our community. Yeah. But we have to bring them back, give them back life. Because we had block clubs and we had neighborhood watches and we had people concerned. That big farmer that sat in the window told your parents that you were acting up in the street. Uh -huh. You don't have those women today. No, you don't. Because you know all it takes, Baba Kwame, all it takes is one person to regenerate that. And now, like on the block where I live, you know, because we realize that same thing. Uh, and we were awakened to that when somebody shot at somebody one day and it happened right outside of my house. My daughter was sitting in the front room and she saw it and she was just horrified because she just come back from South Korea where people don't have guns. They're not shooting. Sure. Nope. So, you know, realizing that somebody of lower consciousness had come mm -hmm. to where we live and brought that lower conscious behavior with them, we had to get into action. And, and me and you know a couple other residents, we went house to house and we, we talked to every single neighbor. We made a list of the, uh, the whole block. So we got the, uh, every everybody has everybody's name, phone number, address and all that. We watch out for the neighborhood. Everybody keeps their, their, their area clean. We have, we've had cleanup, we had alley cleanups. We had a big block club party. We're doing that every year now. Uh, and we got to know our, we made sure, cause a lot of people, you know, when I grew up, a lot of people have gotten older, moved away, sold the house. And so you have, you know, people with a different mindset. We realized we got to reconnect. Just like you said, we have, we have to get back to those days where we are neighbors and we rebuilt that because we saw what happens when you don't do it. And we, right. you know, we, but now we, we gotta, we gotta make sure we spread that to the other blocks. Because if, if somebody in the next block has still got a lower conscious person living there, you know, yeah. having shootouts and everything else with somebody they don't like, we got to fix that. We got to we got to spread the spirit of, of enlightenment of, of neighborhood to those people. Because if you don't have it, then you lose your peace, you lose your comfort, you lose your neighborhood. So. Some, all it takes is one person and then they'll unite with another person and another person, another person. That's what it takes to just decide we're going to take back our neighborhood. And there's, there's not an enemy outside that's creating this problem. It's the enemy within the enemy of I'm what? going to do nothing. We are our own enemy. We're allowing the lower consciousness to dominate when in fact, the light always is greater than darkness. And you can't turn on darkness. Right. You can only turn off light. What 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 did Honorable uh, Louis Farrakhan say? He says, when you walk into the room, I walk into a dark room and turn the light switch, darkness knows what to do. <laughs> I love that. That's right. <laughs> the Baba Kwame, would you please give me those again? You gave the um for our communities, you gave value, moral, and ethics. What was the fourth one? It's, it's, it's values, morals, respect, and ethics. Got you, respect and ethics, right? That you have to value yourself and be morally, if you value yourself, you're going to be morally correct and you're going to earn respect and give respect and to be ethically correct in how you do that and how you speak it. Mm hmm. Okay. Those four, those four things are, are key to a community because we have to begin to, to know how to make the forest. We have to make our, our community a forest because the apple tree knows what to do, just as the oak tree and a pine tree. Every one of them knows it's important and it grows because each person is a tree of life. That's right. And we have different branches and leaves that are, we call children. And, and and young adults. So we have to begin to look at nature and how she has an order and bring that order just like we bring plants inside of our house mm -hmm. to give us that energy. We have to bring that into the community even though it, like you said mushrooms grew in that concrete plants grow in, in between. All it needs is a little bit of earth energy and it will grow. 
Wow. And this is what we can begin to do. We just need a little bit of earth energy to help us to grow and know who we are. Mm, I like that. We need earth's energy to grow. Yeah, I like that. Earth energy. That will really help us. Yeah. Because earth has the word, and you've heard me say it before, earth contains the word heart, it contains the word ear, it contains the word ear, it contains the word art, it contains the word ear. Stop crying and listen to the earth, and it will tell you what's in your heart. Mmm. Wow, that's powerful. See, yes, yes, that's why I love this show, Naima. I didn't come here to inspire you to learn. That's I right. came here to learn. Thank you, yes, Bob, Bob Kwame Summers. What will we do without you? Don't answer that because we don't need to know that. <laughs> it is 9.42. We are way over and my voice is uh, slowly fading. That's why you keep seeing me drinking this tea here because I need to rest my voice the rest of the day. I don't need to do no more talking. But I want to thank all of you who are watching. Before you leave, type in what city you're watching us from or what state or what country because it could be any of those. Yes. As we are about to leave the show, Baba Kwame, you want to give us a closing thought? Well, it's something that you said, and you know, a person, a Mbutu on the Mbutu, it's an African proverb that says, a person is a person because they are people. You can't be who you are because you have to understand it's those people around you. Who are you? Mm. Mm. And so that's and the thing that we have to A person is a person because they're a person. Mm. Okay. Never am looked I at it like that. Am I my brother's keeper? Why would you have to ask the question? Right. Because you're, you're, we're all connected. The oneness of, of the creator, the human being, every person and the shadow. Amen. You are right on target. Every single person, not you, not just you and not just me, but everybody on the planet. So you need to know that and, and be reminded of that. Thank you so much, Baba Kwame San Horace from Georgia. And thank you for sending us sun and heat along with the message for the day. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Thank us. Amen. Yeah. And us meaning U.S. That means the ancestors. So yes. as universal all, spirit. Uh, it means United Spirit. United, United Spirit. Ah, yes. United Spirits. United yeah. Spirits. Yeah. I, t I tell y'all I'm asleep. Right. It just looked like I'm woke. I'm asleep. I trust. Now, <laughs> won't it be wonderful when United States of America actually means United Spirit? Yes, because right now it's more divided states. Yes. So let's All right. look for the United Spirits of America. And before we go, I just want to remind you to inhale wealth today. Wealth is not uh, an outside job. Wealth is an inside. Wealth is a mindset. And Naima just gave you all of that about the neighborhoods this morning. Wealth is all about what's going on inside of your health. So let's just stop for 30 seconds, 10 seconds. And let's just inhale some wealth through the nose. Inhale wealth. Breathe deeply. Oh, yes, I feel that I feel wealthy already. And exhale debt. Go away debt. Go away debt. Go away debt. But you know you got to put some work in behind that. I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> yeah. All righty. And you can go to my blog, zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com. You can see any of that and all of that that we just talked about today. I will be updating with information from Baba Kwame Sunhorse. And these are just uh, a few more T-shirts that you can get. Inhale faith, exhale fear, and be sure and subscribe to our channel. But all of that is on our my blog, zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com. Dot com so you can meditate to activate and we want you to do that and we want you to do it continuously because the more you tune out the more you can tune in give us a closing word naima well you know and i thought about the word united spirits 
We need to be citizens of the USE, United Spirits of Earth. Mm, I like that. And when we do that, we will, in fact, have a beautiful world where we all can live in peace. So let's unite the spirits. All right now. Yes, sir. Muse, yes. Yes, USE. Muse. United Spirit of Earth. How are you using that energy? That's a good question. Mm, All right. And if you have any energy left that you would like to benefit from programs that are available, this is one of the programs that we're involved in at the Higher Learning Network, and that is to share the information. I told you once before that we were vendors on Amazon.com. Yes, we did make enough money to go and hire a grant writer to help us get grants for the Teen Talent Contest, which airs every last Saturday of the month. Uh, Youth 13 to 19 can send in their email, uh, email their information, a one minute video clip from YouTube, a YouTube link their own to hlntvshow at gmail.com. I know I digress, but I had to share this information with you about Quick Click, which is the new company, which it's not it's new to us. It's been around, but it shares in the revenue when you purchase things. So let me play this for you. It's only a minute before we leave. And you can go to my blog, zeldaspeaks.wordpress.com, and the information is there. You got to scroll down and I'll put it up higher because it's way down there. Welcome to Quick Click, where customers can buy, share and earn. Meet Sam. Sam owns an e-commerce business that sells athletic shoes and running gear. Sam wants to increase her sales without increasing marketing spend. So she decides to list her products on QuickLick. On QuickLick, her loyal customers can get paid for sharing her products with their friends. Sam uploads her products to the marketplace, just like she would on Amazon or Shopify. Meet Laura. Laura is in the market for a new pair of shoes and comes across Sam's brand on the Quick Click Marketplace. Laura is able to purchase the shoes and check out like she would on any other e-commerce site. After purchasing, Laura receives a unique Quick Link that she can share with friends to begin earning Quick Cash. Her friend Jessica opens Laura's Quick Link on her phone and purchases the pair of shoes. Because Jessica purchases using Laura's Quick Link, Laura receives Quick Cash in her account. After purchasing, Jessica can now share her own QuickLink and begin earning Quick Cash as well. But QuickClick is more than just your typical referral or affiliate platform. QuickClick rewards customers for sales they directly and indirectly influence. So, for every sale Jessica's new QuickLink makes, Laura will earn additional Quick Cash as well, making the potential for earning exponential. Laura and Jessica can transfer their Quick Cash balance to their bank account at any time, or can even use Quick Cash to make additional purchases in the app. Meanwhile, Sam can just watch as the sales roll in. Best of all, she doesn't have to worry about costs, since she is only spending marketing dollars when actual purchases are made. Start buying, sharing, and earning today at quickclick.com. And you can get uh, more information, you can email info at higherlearningnetwork.org. And for those who want to call, 312-409-6619. And that is our website, higherlearningnetwork.org. So be sure and share that with someone. There's lots of information there on how you can be a um, blessing to the homeless and others that are, that are, that are, um, in need of generators. Melba. Yes, sir. I just texted you something. Oh. Could, you, could you read it? I most certainly can. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Baba Kwame Sunhorse. And there it is right there. Give oh yes, giving resources, accessing needed training grant oh wow giving resources needed training that is a grant 
okay giving resources. A wordologist here. He's a wordologist. What yeah, can I do? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Baba Kwame. We greatly appreciate that. What will we do without you? Don't answer that. Because <laughs> we don't intend to do that. No, because we don't intend to. He is mm. such a wealth of information. He's like an independent producer, wouldn't you say, uh, Naeem? Because he, he 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 does the work of a producer. Absolutely, absolutely, yes, yes. So, so I want to thank you, Baba, from the bottom of my, of my heart, and once again. A happy belated birthday because I know you just celebrated a birthday too. So, oh my, another year of wisdom recognized. Brother, my birthday is in February. My mom, that's what I was there in Chicago oh. for. Oh, she celebrated her 90th birthday. Okay, okay. Yes, to her. Please, please give mom our love because we, 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 we we're so happy that she that you chose to come through her birth canal because we could have the information that I get on this show comes directly from you. So please give our, give your mom our name, uh, our blessings. What's her name? Her name is Carolyn. Carolyn, Miss Carolyn. We appreciate you, Miss yeah. Carolyn, wherever you are. Oh, she's in Illinois. That's right. She's yeah. in Illinois. So thank you, Miss Carolyn, for being the outstanding mother that you are raising an outstanding Son. Yes. So tomorrow we will do it all over again. I will not be here, but Jody Susan of Susan Essentials, she always has a rock star on the show. Yeah. Let me give you a breakdown of what else is going on on the female solution come Tuesday morning. Here we go. <laughs> The Female Solution Global Radio TV Show invites you to an invigorating conversation with our team of hosts Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Central Time. Start your week with Monday Morning Mindfulness with Zelda Speaks. Tuesdays, Self-Sell Care with Jody Susan. Wednesdays, Repairing Broken Families with Naima Latif and co-host Kareem Hamid. Thursdays, Soulful Solutions with Dr. Debbie Green. And Fridays, Health and Well-Being with Beata. Saturdays, tune in 12 noon to 2 p.m. Central Time. First Saturday, Success Strategies with Jana. Second Saturday, Wendy Williams Esquire on Relationships. Third Saturday, Move Around with Deborah. And fourth Saturday, Wisdom with Mama D. Join us Sundays, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time for Soul Purpose Healing with Beata. Call in and comment 515-605-9325. Press 1 to speak to the host and be a part of the solution. Quick closing thought, Naima. <laughs> well, as always, join us every day and gain the wisdom shared by the Female Solution Global Radio TV Show. So until tomorrow, continue to shine your light. And we will see you Wednesday morning at the press conference. Dr. Willie Wilson, mayoral candidate Dr. Willie Wilson, uh, just gave away gas on Friday, on Saturday, 7 a.m. in Gary, Indiana, and back in Chicago at 9 a.m. Uh, he's having a press conference Wednesday, and we will keep you posted on the HLN TV show and our YouTube channel, Higher Learning TV Show. Thank you. There's one thing, uh, there's one thing I want to mention. Um, mm -hmm because people should never take for granted those who, who support their businesses and who uh, make it possible for them to support their families. And a very unfortunate incident happened at a gas station in Chicago and our dear sister, Doris Lewis, shared it with uh, the, the community. Mm -hmm. uh, a BP service station at 50, 48 South Cornell Avenue was the, uh, the proprietors were very rude and disrespectful to her in a manner that is unacceptable. So we will not be patronizing them and we're advocating that no one patronize them. They have not earned the benevolence of our dollars. Uh, Doris Lewis is a very dear sister and she's an elder and they use very uh, ugly language at her and told her to get out. And she was trying to purchase a newspaper and wow. that disrespect, um, you know, they use the F word, you know, all of that. Uh, really? And when you don't value people, you don't deserve their patronage.
And so um, I'm looking up, you know, what is the other nearest gas station that we can give our patronage to? Because you know, when people go get gas, usually they you know they need gas. Well, okay, we don't we don't want to have you go too far, but we are going to urge you to go somewhere else in the neighborhood and not not go to 5048 South Park Cornell Avenue BP Station. 5448. 50. 50, 50, 5048, 5048 South Cornell. That's 50th and Cornell. Is that the BP when you come right off of Lakeshore Drive? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, right I believe that's it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so at 50th Street, yeah, I think that's the one. And uh, no, 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 no more patronage for them. Uh, yeah. They don't deserve our business. And, um, you know, if, if the parents who raised you didn't teach you, manners they didn't do ethics what were those things that that Bible Kwame just got through saying yeah um, you know uh values ethics respect and morals if, if you didn't learn those things then you don't really deserve to be in no. business and receive anyone's dollars until you learn those skills because that's what shows respect for others thank you so, no money for you thank you all righty 50 48 5048 South Canal Street Cornell Cornell, Cornell. yeah Cornell. yeah Cornell and Hyde Park you know yeah. yeah uh let me write that down five zero that yeah because you know you you come here from another country and then you disrespect the people that are in the community that's not that's yeah. just total disrespect right right so you know you he says that when people do that, they really need to leave. And, and and so, you know, once they're not receiving any business, they will leave. And that's what we want because they have not shown that they deserve to be there. You know what? I want to uh, dis disrespect. I can't even spell respect. B-I-S-R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E Find out what it means to me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all can't sing. Uh, <laughs> welcome to my world. This <laughs> S P E E C T. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Petroleum. We have to. We have to understand that we have black pride. Yes. Woo! There we go. Show some it's black pride. I, don't, I can't spell this one. It's so gas. It be yeah. It's R E S P E C T. Yeah, R E S P E C T. The community. Okay. I'm a little slow this morning, y'all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is the one right here, 5048 South Cornell. We are boycotting this station. They are disrespecting the community and they do not deserve right. uh, to be gaining access to our hard earned dollars. Right. So we need to move on from there. Yes. So so I, I believe we need to uh ramp up this campaign until they move out. Oh wow. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, we want you gone because what? you don't deserve to be there. Right. Take that rudeness somewhere else. Because people people, you know, they are misled when they get when they get here, when they get to immigration, immigration tells them mm -hmm. don't even come in our neighborhoods. Yeah. So for for those who are interested in continuing and making a difference in the lives of those who are on this planet, who are here living with us here as earth beings, Sister Lois, what was her name, Lois? Uh, Doris. Doris. Doris, Doris, Doris was, was elderly, was disrespected at the BP gas station, 5048 South Cornell Avenue. We are boycotting this station because they are disrespecting the community in which we live, the, in which they make money off of us. So I ask each person who is watching this video, who watched the live show, who's going to my blog, because I'm going to put this on the blog, Zelda Speaks dot wordpress.com tell everybody you know to not go to the bp gas station 5048 south cornell boycott the station because they are boycotting us by disrespecting us 
you do not disrespect elders in the black community, period. So Absolutely. with that being said and done, thank you so very much for all of you who are listening and watching. Please share this message. You can't come mess with mud deal. You get you get hurt like that. So that's, that's what we're right. doing. Stay on purpose, stay empowered, stay tuned to my self sell care with Jody Susan in the morning. And we will see you back here at 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I'll be live Wednesday with the press conference from Dr. Willie Wilson. Make it a great day, and thanks for watching.